Let me switch that to... Okay. The ROM turned six, first game. Lobby with Zanyu, Trickster, Kun King, Senior Health, Kurtz, SSA, Oleg, and 2 2. Okay. Well, however it is. So we see Oleg going for five here. He's got a Zero's quest completed, and it's two out of five for uh, Kidnap Suck. All right. I should be there as well. All right. So. Usually when you start in the middle of the game, it's a bit weird to kind of take stock of everything what's going on, but I guess you yeah. can try. I think the first thing we do is check types, right? There's right. Uh, Murlocs are in, but mechs are out. I think that's the only like super relevant ones. Beasts are also in. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, I guess I should have mentioned that. Well, I guess I mentioned that by virtue of saying that mechs are... But yeah, sorry. My old man that made sense. The... Uh... <laughs> This board doesn't look board. good for Oleg. Just look, just like generally turn turn six. This looks pretty bad for Oleg. Let's see. It's interesting that he's happy buffing the cat with the batter board. I don't know if that's like last minute moving around. Uh, yeah, it seems weird, but, but that, that's why well, it's a small thing. But yeah, he's playing Sire. I'm not a huge Sire fan. I know other people are, but it's oh, not, not anymore. Or is it like because I, I mean, I haven't played him recently, but I still think he's probably. Good. Uh, I've not really liked him. Like, I feel like he's got too much top eight potential for. Oh, you've never liked oh. him. Okay, I hear. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay, I like him because you could just win games for free if you get the right quest combinations. I just... Oh, Jandis with a kidnap sack, so she can bounce things repeatedly. So if she finds a toxfin, she can swap the toxfin and bounce the toxfin, so she can make three poisons per turn. Yeah, but is that like that. like that's you know that's like winning more, you know what I mean? Like it's not like that crazy. But I no, mean, it's really. I mean, if you find a Bergurgo, three Bergurgo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That good. that that's where talks for them not like sold off. But Bergurgo, yes, you've sold me. I mean, you're not gonna tell me that being able to make an additional poison every turn isn't a good thing. Uh, like how often? How, how often are you? Only, you know, that only that's only useful like for two turns, and then it's useless. Yeah, <laughs> the, the the small minor. You know, inconvenience of not having infinite damage on your units for an additional one or two turns is a huge deal in this game, Cole. <laughs> like, it's like, well, Jeez. I mean, how good is a board of poisons, really? Right? When I, we like, think I like what Say Say is doing here. Yeah, he's uh, going for the trickster yeah, play. Yeah, but the problem is Murlocs are in, so it's, it's Yeah, but I think cool. he's just doing it because it's for the strongest now, yeah, play. Yeah, it's turn seven. Right? And yeah. You play what we're you play what you're given, and probably like he stumbled upon some buffs for this trickster, and it just made sense. Kurt with the uh, the Cthulhu, he knows the game yep. plan. He knows he gets the tier four armor still, yeah. even though it's it's nerfed. It's no longer how, tier seven. How is that okay? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, they they hot fixed the uh, Cadgar, right? Yeah, yeah, they so. did. They did. Bit unfortunate timing on our podcast, I guess. But still, no, it's great. No, they, they, no. What happened is they watched the podcast and you're like, "Oh, you're uh, right," and then they fix it immediately. We have that much power. Yeah. Okay. Copio. <laughs> We've mentioned the gas color thing many times, though. So I, I don't know, know, but they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> right now, they're playing to get into top twelve. No, this is Lobby Legends. So yeah. it, I know it's, I know the structure is a little bit confusing, but yeah. So let me let me get everyone up to speed as to what this is and what the circuit is all about. The uh, the first step is ladder. The second step is a qualifier that you guys don't really see. It's not broadcast unless uh, one of the streamers broadcast it. Mm -hmm. And then the last step is Lobby Legends. There have been eight this year, and there's going to be a ninth. Mm -hmm. This is currently Lobby Legends number eight. So this is the final stage of the tournament really where it's the this. top sixteen all over the world. Uh, that player really wanted a six drop, um, but had to go for a five for tempo. But a uh, six would have been so much better for him. <laughs> yeah, I didn't quite see. Like, I feel like we went away far too quickly from uh, from Trickster there. Like, is great. Oh, he can make a triple. No, he can't. No, he can't. No, that's not that one. Oh, he can make a triple. Yes, he I can make see. a triple. Here. Hey, 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 yeah, I know what I'm saying. He's playing Cindy. Okay, he's got hidden body. I don't know what the requirement is. Uh, the normal pick's queen, but we'll yeah, see. the normal pick is queen. Okay, yeah, it looks like we are following the normal pick. Yeah. Oh, wow, this is a great role for him. 
Do you even yeah. play the Leroy? Croc's better than Leroy at this stage. Yeah, this one. I, I, I think you just hold it in your hand. Oh, he wants yeah, it too. Okay. I, I think that's fair since he has the pair and it's already has the vine. Yeah. The, yeah. That having Reborn on it is a little awkward, but I guess he just did that for tempo. It's great. What's he, awkward about it? If it gets sniped early. Okay. Whatever. It's better than not having Reborn well, on I it. I mean, right? I'd prefer it on the Croc or the, the Goldrin is all I'm saying. Yeah, but he didn't. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> okay. I know. He did it for tempo. I, I just, I'm saying he could yeah, have held I, it in his hand. That's all I'm saying. And, and oh, now hold it in the hand. Okay. In Lobby Legends. Yeah. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, why not? I don't, I don't care. <laughs> so you're up tier four early. You could reboard your high man, and you're like, yeah, oh, well, these guys I'm aren't saying, well, It depends on when he did it. You know, if it was like a first turn tier four, yeah, I'm down for it. I'm just saying, like, you know, it would have been better on a different card if he held it. That's all. I, I, I think if you buy the reborn snake and yeah. then you. At the end of the turn, you don't have a better target, and you hold it in your hand in Lobby Legends instead of reburning your high mid. I feel like you're trolling. Uh, I I I have to see the I have to see when he did it, you know, before sure. I, I make my judgment. So I, I, I'd say the likelihood of trolling is yeah, quite high. But, I, I would yeah. say I agree, and I okay. I'm not saying this wrong. <laughs> I'm just saying I I would prefer it if it was on a different unit on this. Board. Yeah, but we could just roll more, right? We could just roll more. Copium, yeah. You only get okay. one. So pigs ball over tap there, which I guess makes I'm, sense. I'm down for. I actually yeah, we, like that. Oh, there's three honchos in the shop. Wait, why well, are we not slamming? What are you doing? Well, slow, slow down. Why are we not slamming honchos? Okay, wait. There's something going on. He just on. doesn't want it, right? That's yeah. so fucking weird, though. I, mean, yeah, I guess he's rolling slow, with wisdom ball. Nice. Yeah, he, he might be saying he would rather get golden brand. Right? Ooh, but if you're spamming so many, oh, I don't know, man. Like. I feel really bad. Not well, I kind of wanted this self. Oh, never mind. Yes. You know what? All you right, know well, what? He he knows. What I he's will doing. say this is working out much he, better. He knows what he's doing. Let's ignore ignore us. That's why. That's why he's there. And yeah, we're not. Kofi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so he is, sells the ball. That makes this sense. This is disgusting. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> I hate this chat. Wait. Oh, what wait, do we do? He hero powered. What? That can't. That can't be right. That like, order. Did he misclick? But his face didn't change, right? It's not like he was like. Well, huh. that can't. That can't be the right order, guys. <laughs> I. Man, this guy hates honchos. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm also a little confused. Okay, you got Burger oh, at the end. Salvage Copio. <laughs> <sighs> if now. Like, okay, that is likely a misclick, yeah. but I love how his face is just like, yeah, okay, sold the next armor lock. Doesn't fucking matter. Business as usual. Yeah, almost as surely that was that was not the what he wanted to do, but it doesn't show on his face. Maybe it maybe it shows in his mind and he's thinking, oh what what the hell? But at right, least I'll, I'll we try can't tell the volume up a bit again. Uh, uh Teach Shady how to fix his audio. He sounds perfect in your channel when we can not hear you and his. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's the speakers. Like, it's very straightforward. I use speakers, and Collins' voice goes through the speaker. That's it. Yeah. Uh, oh, that. I wonder oh, if you can to... fix it. Like, if I was there, if I could, like, just find a way to fix it myself. But... Yeah, put on a headset. <laughs> No, I mean, but like, there could be a, a like a, a more elegant solution for it, that that works for you. I mean, Kurt, um, Kurt, I believe Kurt. Come on, let's go. Okay, Eliza. Yeah, no, he's, he's doing well. He's doing well. Oh, and he, and he he's lost. at twelve okay. HP. I, I yeah. yeah. He, well, I, okay, sure. In lobby legends, I guess this isn't doing well. Yeah, this is. I wouldn't call this doing well. I mean, it, in a turn, he could be doing well. Right now, I don't agree. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, All right, I'm I'm liking Wait, this. What server is this? Is this Asia that they're playing um, on? It it might be Europe, right? Because it 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 it's it's usually with how good the time zones are. Oh, it could be. So, I don't think he's lagging hard enough for it to be Asia. Huh? Yeah, I mean, this is not a good NA time zone, so it's not NA. I could. <laughs> 
I can tell you that much. <laughs> Oh, more gold. Go, go, go. Play something. It's the... And then yeah, there's a Peggy. Eliza Skelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he's thinking about how to survive, right? He, so he wants he to maybe could have sold the method. But, and hero power, hero power? Hero power, hero power? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't <laughs> think you never miss that. Uh, you never know. <laughs> Is finals one and done? No. God, no. No, you play three games. Imagine, like, all right, one game. All right, get the fuck out. Bottom four, get the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> They play three games, which is still a very small sample yeah, size. Still small, but... Jesus, okay. I think One he could have sold yeah. the mantid. To play the Peggy, or what? Yeah, just to play a second Scally. Though he didn't need to. Like, I don't think it's... Uh, it's I mean, is that always better, even? I don't know if that's always... He's got a Murloc on his board as well. well as so long as, getting... Yeah, that's true. As long as he gets... Because he didn't get the Divine Shield, that's why I'm like, ah. Uh, but you're right. Oh no! Died. Are we gonna get a remake? Oh no! Okay, no, so he's no. just lagging. Okay, he was on that screen for forever. He's got ninety seconds. Okay. <coughs> so Trickster and Senior how got knocked out. The Cinder Grossa died. I thought he was in an okay spot, wasn't he? Uh, he was doing beasts with the Croc. Froze the, the high man last yeah. time. Well. Maybe the Croc is just not solid enough. Well, we saw a few other people on their board, right? Like Jandis was swapping and doing Murloc things. You could see everyone's leaning, like slowly gravitating towards Murlocs now. The classic Murloc gameplay. No mechs. Yeah, no. To prevent no mechs and the uh, beasts are in, so like adding stats is still quite nice. Oh, he's kidnapping his own card. Though. It's good though. <laughs> no. I get a what is this? Well, they have to predict who's going to win. This is like a chat function thing. Oh, between the <laughs> two. Yeah, chat gets to figure out who wins here. Isn't this like super easy? I don't understand. But I guess. I think they, they have to take whatever is the closest. And uh, like, it's not always that easy, but they do have the vine shield on the other side. What's your guess here? Uh,. That Swolfin isn't big enough to trade, right? But one has a brand on the board. I don't know. Right side's not too bad. I like right side. Yeah. Yeah, I'd go. I'd go left is keeping a brand. I don't like that left isn't leading with brand either. Like their selfless could shield to brand now. Wait, this when they're not fighting each other. Wait, what's the point then? Oh wait, did he fuck up? <laughs> I think he fucked up. I think he fucked up. Yeah, the... Oh, uh, that's funny. It's not Saddle this time, I think, though, right? I think Saddle is casting. I don't yeah, think yeah, Saddle's so casting. Uh, okay, I was... <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Maybe maybe the casters can explain that's a different format, but usually they fight each other. Uh, that might have been a whoopsie, yeah. I want to hear, hear what they say. Yeah. So Yashiraj had a brand, right, or not? I think he did. This dude, I I Wonder's Wisdom Ball is really hard carrying. So yeah, so, yeah you sure. don't want the triple. Don't take the triple. Don't no, 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 don't do it. He's not taking it. Okay. I am. I'm gonna say though, man, a honcho on this board would have felt pretty. Would have been good. good yeah. I agree. This plays so many Merlins. Like instead, we just have that burger. I get it he, though. Did he sell the brand? Yeah, yeah. I think he was afraid. Kurt, right, Kurt's I still alive. You. Actually, I don't, so, I don't believe that much. Okay. Kurt's biggest thing here is that he's got to end on good minions. So he's going to sell that Peggy and make another poison with the war mm -hmm. leader. So I guess he's hoping to roll into Leroy so that he can just slot it in. But no luck so far. He needs the hero power. Oh. Could run double self. I think he's going to end up with double selfless here. Yeah, yeah. war leader and then. It's either that or he just goes for a hero power, but let's get some milking in. I love it. Let's go. I think pirates first. I don't know. That doesn't feel like NA ordering. Yeah, so if I use the extra shield over the hero don't, power. Don't which... don't base any ordering on my play, should you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's hard to keep track which month's love and just going on. This is eight. The next one's nine.
Yeah, All right. There's so many, so many Murlocs poisoned. If you actually might not be. He's dead. getting double shields. Yeah, he yeah if dead. he can, he can survive that war. Yeah, either. he definitely lives because he kills two, <laughs> and nothing yep. will deal twelve. Kurtris with mask. I don't think we've seen him yet. Big Kurtris fan now. Say, say, say out. You know what's good out. with mask? Cthulhu with mask, dude. The first time I saw it, I was like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely insane. What is this nonsense? Because the trigger of the actual hero power happens twice, but the upgrade also happens twice, and that's completely Oh, ridiculous. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. So you get two, but it also accelerates. It accumulates oh. faster. That's, that it's even more broken than you full health. Yeah, yeah. I had a Cthulhu mask game myself, and I had like 170 health dragons or some shit. It was crazy. Must be nice. No more looks, of course. So. Is that a new uh, strike? I don't think I've seen that. No, one. that was oh the strike. Yeah, new-ish. Okay. One of their last patches. So, the kidnap sack and the Zerus. This has just been some Aga mid game and. I think Oleg is well at this point is looking to transition into some more poison and yeah, get Every, more value everyone cause... is transitioning into a poison. Yeah, yeah. that's the, the end game. The here. problem with his is like his transition is too hard. But I think he's just gonna have to commit to this. But he's got good. He's got good minions on the board, so I don't think it's awful. Um, like you can start by selling Bannerbore and your Swabby or something it's, like that. It's a right? little awful. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I mean, like his minions, his minions being big helps, right? Okay, Felatox. I, I was wondering if you like keep that Murloc and try to. Oh, okay. Do you sell something else? He could have. It's oh, lagging so much, right? Yeah. Look. I thought you. I thought this was zero. Cool. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Might be. I might have to be Asia. Like. Yeah, it's geez, lagging so hugely. But we're we're watching spectate point of view though, right? So yeah, it shouldn't lag in spectate. That's true. It's weird, but that was painful to just watch that unfold. Yeah, like, a bit lucky. Even with the mid? hits, he actually might get there. Uh, right, there's a way to not die. Though. He has to right. the. Barrier. Have to go far left now. No, wow. that's not good. If, it, if his game doesn't lag as much, he's probably alive because he make an extra Cause poison. Because he, right? yeah. he ends with a toxin in the hand. Yeah. Savage. You take the, <laughs> the Baron here. <coughs> yeah, we're on 12. Okay. You see, Shady is exactly what I said. The two six it kids. does roll the taunt, right? Yeah, yeah you're right. It's disgusting. So what are we being what are we being screwed out of? Uther. Uther. Yeah. Uther. We're being which screwed is, out. So, which is important. Yeah. yeah, for for anyone wondering what we're talking about, the uh wisdom ball update the wisdom ball role got updated. The utility role used to always contain Baron, Bran, Uther, etc. But now they've added two to the pool. Uh white it's main a and the two six. Yeah, white main and the taunt. Yeah. And Collins and I were wondering if it would act intelligently meaning it would never offer you both of the taunt options in one roll, because that's obviously just garbage Useless, compared to an yeah. Uther or a Bran. But it seems like you can get screwed out of your Uther by it offering both the taunt options, which <laughs> who, is... Who even wants white mail? <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, but not early. Not early, no. Not early. But it might be the one of the better things to land later in the game. <laughs> you're, you're running cleave. Like, that's the only thing. <laughs> no, for like Exodia pirates and stuff. Right? Who's winning this fight? Um, uh, I see double Manted Queen, and I, I'm inclined to just give it to the Manted Queen because. Uh, well, I then again, I don't. Know. The pirates are big enough to value yeah, trade. Yeah, with one of yeah, the yeah. It's, okay. It depends if the Manted Queens go into uh, the two pirates at the end. The issue with uh, Kurt is that yeah. he didn't have a unit to end on. He does yeah. get to clean up one shield, and the other one didn't real shield, so that's huge. There's a chance. Well, that Felbat is not uh, big enough to challenge. Uh, no, we're dead. We're dead. Super dead. 
Yeah, that, that's really the issue with with Kurt's turn is that it's not like he could do much about it. But he's rolling, he's buying pirates and stuff, but he doesn't have anything to end on. Yeah, he, so he had to end like on a white moon, which is or something. yeah. And he, essentially, it's Leroy or Queen because even a Toxfin, it's weird because you'd have to uh, figure out a way to get board space. This guy has such an insane advantage with the double divine shield minion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you essentially need to run blaster versus him, which means you're running down a minion. Whoa, whoa. Which means oh, you win in the poison war. He committed that so hard. Well, oh. it depends on what the others are playing. So if stats are relevant, then... shouldn't he level? No. Well, I think he's just trying to force. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Wisdom ball is so broken. <laughs> he's playing with them all, right? So I think he was just trying to force. Uh, anyway, that in. So that's not fair. <laughs> I do think at one gold. It's probably fine because yeah. you can roll the Baron naturally as That's well. What but I'm yeah. That's what I was saying. But it yeah, even I agree. <laughs> yeah, so now we're going into that real end game where you need to figure out what your opponents are playing. If all of them are hard committed on poison, then yeah, like it doesn't matter they committing. The They're all poison comps. Yeah, then 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 committing that baron doesn't matter, right? Because like it's not like you're cycling extra murlocs from her stats at that point. Oh, wait. Okay, no, no, not all poison. No, this one is stats. So, versus this person, it's relevant whether your Murloc has 120 health they're, or 100 health. They're health essentially health. all poison. Essentially. No. Like this, well, I guess we've got 50, two queens and a Leroy. The, the 55 not all is not poison. That's true. Well, no, no, no. But I mean, the others are actually stat based. So, if you play more buffs to boost your Murlocs, it actually matters. That's, that's my point. I think you just ignore this player and just say I auto win against him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you have a you have a big advantage because you're like you have to play against. Uh, they have to blaster you. The Leroy so, did some work though. I don't actually see how the wisdom ball player loses from this point. The Ashra. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying the wisdom ball, like being able to get two free divine shields, is such a huge advantage. Wait a minute, he won. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's not against the Wisdom Ball player, right? Yeah. I know, but I thought I thought this guy was negligible, essentially. Like well, he's got Leroy double queen, and one of his minions has. And I thought it was negligible, shield? shady. Yeah, okay, but it's not. Okay, you don't you don't value that enough. No, it's, I it's guess it's because useful. the. Uh, the Janus might be small enough that that Divine Shield Quilbor actually traded with something, and that's that's a problem for Janus. Yeah. But that happens with both players. What do you mean? Like his his minions are very small as well. Yeah, yeah, but we have two Divine Shield Murlocs and that's, a that's Golden Baron and that's a Golden true. Selfless, so we we just, we don't give a shit. <laughs> what is he yeah, do is... now? Is he done? How do you yeah. fix change this? We're done. We're done. Okay. And you should just level try to one shot people. Yeah, if you are changing cards on your board now. So the one thing you could look at is um trading out some Murlocs for poison ball of minions and then add queen. But the uh the chance that you then that's, open yourself up. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I mean you asked how do you make it better, right? right. So that's probably how. But that that opens you up to potentially getting your ball of minions killed or your queen killed by blaster because you might not raise their health high enough so i think realistically speaking in this spot you just sit because you know the path to improvement opens up risk and i think you already have 100 percent. so why I don't take know on if it's risk? 100 but it's it's definitely high but what, what would happen for them to not win here so his right guy gets sniped and then leroy's do some work i guess Leroy's do some work. So the selfless doesn't end up shielding enough, essentially is what you're saying. Yeah. Because the poison guy possible. dies. Right. Oh, thank you so much for the raid, uh, She's Bree. Very much appreciated. I hope you had a great stream. I mean, look how close this is. Yeah, but it's a poison war. So two minions is a monster lead. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> I guess so. Because a poison war essentially is a tie. So winning with one minion is huge. Winning with two minions is like a, you demolish the person. 
Oh, Golden Coiler. Golden Coiler. Golden Coiler Reborn. That's how, okay. That's how you could do it, because the minions aren't big enough for it to be a real, you know, threat there. Okay. Yeah, Golden Coiler Reborn in the back. That could do it. I could see that. What is he selling? Do you sell the 49? Oh, I didn't do, look at the board properly. It's in that spot. I'm happy that I'm casting and not playing because good luck with theoretically there's a way out, right? But good luck finding it. Yeah. You're happy you're casting and not playing? Oh, okay. And that's, yeah, okay. I'd always sorry, by the way. I, I didn't mute my uh, sorry, you're streaming, right? Or I don't mind it whatsoever, Shady. No, I'll, I'll try to mute. Blow your nose all you want. I'll, I'll try. I'm, I'm muted for my stream, and I'll try to mute for your stream as well. Sorry. Guys. No, 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 no. I don't care. Dude, it's fine. Yeah, you don't care, but people watching your stream lose, right? So it's just. Pat, do you basic, care? It's basic decency to not, you know, blow your nose. I don't, I don't need basic decency. <laughs> Ignore it. Just do it. <laughs> uh, this is so annoying for the Janice because she's so close to getting there. But she needs another turn, right, to try and get this reborn in the coiler. He's not playing she... his Baron in here. No, I think if he figures that uh, he because the opponent has proc Golden shields. Baron, yeah, he's just trying to <coughs> proc the shields instead. <coughs> I don't know if that's <coughs> oh disaster. <coughs> oh, we do deny the selfless. That uh, that is a great that's a great idea. The selfless does not have enough. Uh, the selfless does not have um, has too much health, essentially. Now, this can still go very wrong, depending on where the hits go, but that, that was great. Huh. If they snipe the poison out, they're good. Oh, oh my God, God, they did it. All right, All you right. know what? That was a great boy. You know what? That was a fantastic decision there. That was a uh, I, I I don't think you have any chance if you... Uh, no, with the Baron. I, th yeah. I think that you're right in that most people would play their Baron and just I be like... I would play oh, the Baron is. here, so I would, yeah. I, would, I would just lose. Yeah. I, I don't I don't think I play the Void Load either, so that's, okay. that's a very, very smart decision. So the mental acuity there, I guess, to look at their opponent's board and realize, well, this Selfless got buffed due to whatever it was that Wisdom Ball did or you know, like maybe it was an Overseer early on or whatever happened. But this selfless does not die to avoid Lord. So that that was amazing. It was really good decision making. Yeah. That's why he's there. <laughs> We're gonna say that all day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, are we trying to reborn this uh coiler? Because we can I assume so, right? We can trade out Leroy's, right? But you could also sell your uh Well, you just sell the ball or no, he's playing the ball. No, he wants to sell that potentially, right? Do you sell your Felbat here to play a well, gas color? You're against the 100% poison player. That doesn't mean that the ball is better because, uh, but he just uh, poisoned the ball. So I yeah. know. I do like that I was able to call what he was going to sell because that's that's what my brain does. My brain takes me there. All right. Because he wants to reborn the ball. Yeah, that makes sense. That's, that's better than a Felbat. I know you hate it, but I, I think it's beautiful. It is better because <laughs> you can put it at the end. That's Shouldn't it. the. Um... The I'm a little, be... I'm a little nervous with this coiler not being more towards the back. Isn't yeah, but then again, the, first no? the queens do have taunts. Uh, I don't think he wants Leroy first, just because it might impact a taunt. That's yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. This this exact because scenario. Of this exact situation. Exactly. Yeah, that's okay. a good. That's a really good adaptation. And we high roll. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're high rolling super hard right now. I think we, auto, we auto won. Not auto win. Yeah, yeah auto we auto won. That's a nasty board. Disgusting. Really, really. Dude, the well fight done. is not even being nice to no. the, the other. The coiler, the coiler doesn't even. I mean, the hits went as good as they could. Yeah, that was perfect right. fight RNG. But look at look at what a lead we have at the end. Yeah. So I think we, we, we probably win, win anyways, that anyway. Yeah. So now the interesting part is that we do have those two extra divine shields on the Ashraj, uh -huh. but we do have the excellent counter exactly. scam with double mantid queen which is essentially also the shields if he gets right. lucky enough yeah. so that's kind of even but there is also the reborn coiler and the reborn on the ball of minions which can deal with a shield for instance the reborn version so yeah it's it's really cool that even though there's such an overwhelming advantage from the wisdom ball that the kurtris is now finding a way to challenge it and he's playing kurtris that hero sucks like yeah uh, <laughs> I win so much on Kurt, man. It's, yeah. You should learn to play Kurt. It's good fun. And the 5-3 is interesting. 
Isn't it, it is, but it's a bit overkill, I think. But then again, well, you're you taught just that... put the you put it in the back. Put it in the back. Or I mean, you, you put mean? the selfless like farther back. Ah, oh, he just skipped it. Oh, yeah, he has got a begurgle, right? So he'd have to sell the begurgle. Yeah. And then taunt something else, but you wouldn't want to taunt a shield for Leroy. Ooh. You you would taunt a shield maybe. Huh. Not sure if I like the. I was counted down for the uh, the five three. You should, shouldn't you swap that? You should play right. Swap what? The the poison. I mean, divine shield first. Like swap the positioning. Mm, the minions. No, I I think what you're hoping is that this divine shield tanks something, and then the selfless reshields. Uh -huh. Yeah. So exactly this. Because you have Golden Baron, Golden Selfless, which means you already waste shields. Now it doesn't matter because there's a Leroy following up. But if he puts the if he puts the taunt that's shield first, that's good. I think then it never gets here. value. Yeah, he needs some serious Leroy scammage from the Coiler. Yeah, I mean the Coiler can only do so much. That's the problem with the Oh, there's a shield here. And the other one has seven health. Okay, never mind. <laughs> well, there's it's also a rep kind of there. Yeah. Yeah, kick weight. Oh god! Oh it's... my god! Yeah, wow. it's enough. It's enough. It's enough. Wow, that's what a master scam! Hell oh, yeah, yeah, the Kurt takes it. Wow, I love I, it. I was sitting I there like, it. he's gonna have such I uh, a. Like, I was like, this is just a hundred percent right versus other poison builds, which it is. But the Kurt found a way with the the go with the reborn on the coiler and then the extra token damage. The 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 crocolisk being just barely enough, so we can we can see in the end that stats did matter, yeah. which is cool to see. So if what, the wisdom Shady, player, I've told you for years. <laughs> uh, well, no, I wanna I wanna just go back to that turn where there was the option to Hancho because we were comfortable. Right? Also, he he sold a brand like it, it yeah, but so. we we didn't we didn't see exactly which opponent was against them. So I think it's hard to judge that. To say, like, oh, that's always wrong selling the brand. But I feel like, man, we were spamming so many Murlocs when there were like so many honchos in the shop. Right. Uh it's it's obviously hard to say for sure, right? Like we're not in the game, at least, you know, uh, we, we just came in halfway through. So maybe statistically, it is correct to just say, no, skip the honchos, just roll, try to get wisdom ball bullshit. Uh, but we we can see, you know, using the Captain Hindsight power. That if uh, if they had bought the honchos and they had pumped more stats, those murlocs would have been bigger, and then the coiler is not enough to get there. Yeah, so, he 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 needed cool. his minions to be a little bit bigger. I think he like he stopped too early because his minions were like <laughs> around 30, 40 HP. Let's say they were like 50, 60. I I don't think he dies like this. Yeah. Now, if we're if we're not in a beast lobby, I think it's fair now because it's really hard to get punished in. But yeah, in a beast in a lobby, yeah, you gotta put the gotta put the stats on. Yeah, this is why All I right. say murlocs are weirder in mech beast, right? Because like things like that can happen where if they're not there, yeah. you really don't have the opportunity to. Scale I think them. they're. Uh, it's. I honestly really don't mind murlocs in beast mech lobbies because I think it really. I, yeah. I call them dynamic lobbies, right? You have so much going on there. There's uh, there's a lot of different things. There's a lot of counters. So I, I like that stats don't just get out of control. Poison doesn't get out of control. Tokens don't get out of control. Like there's there's this nice it's triangle. The most healthiest lobby lobby type for you. Yeah, I think I think beasts in mechs in Murlocs in is a very healthy lobby where uh, you really need to figure out what your opponents are playing and. Everything keeps everything a bit in check. I like pirates in, so I can just play Scally Pirates and not care. <laughs> yes, that's also good. I think most people like it for harder, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take a minute or two All while right. they're uh, prepping for the next game. I guess see you in a bit. So uh, yeah, this is fun. I'm glad that you were able to make it this early. Yeah, I, I my whole day got flipped as soon as I was like, oh, it's at two a.m. for me. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I think going to bed at, at, at 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. But yeah, how often do we get to do this? Right? Where yeah, it's, I, uh... I, it's worth it, I mean, for sure. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, no. See you in a bit. I realize I might have to do this tomorrow as well, huh? <laughs> well, maybe, yeah. If you huh. want to. 
Damn, I just that just <laughs> dawned on me. It's not one day. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, that's fine, copium. But it, it's hard for me to, so normally I, during this time, I'd probably go like mentally go over the whole game. But since we, we missed like the first five, six turns, it's hard to kind of get a full picture of the landscape of the game and, and what people are doing. Cause I, I really do think the early game kind of dictates like how you're going to go. We didn't really get to see people's quest selections and that, that is some decisions that could have uh, adjusted how the the flow of the game happened so uh just something we missed because we were playing our own game before this but i do think um the game played out relatively correctly you saw a lot of people going tempo there were some people going quobor agam scaling or uh some type of alternative scaling and then the you know murloc players start dominating that's just generally going to happen in murloc lobbies especially ones without beasts and 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 mechs but there were beasts in this one but generally if you don't have either of them it's going to be harder for other players to have a composition that can contest early enough the pressure of the murloc so that they don't just get out of control there were some good hero synergies with the jandis uh for murlocs and also the wisdom ball player from Murloc, so they did get these huge advantages just using their hero and their quest reward. So they were looking like the front runners, but there was this Kurtz's player uh, kind of shining through using you know a little bit of smarts. And there's also the um, the wisdom ball end up being top three, being mostly Murlocs. There was one player uh, still with Agam in the top three. But uh, unfortunately, you know, it falls off. Eventually, the Murlocs will one-shot you, and they start adding Divine Shield. So I think that's just good play from these players. They know that once you get the Murloc Poison, then you add the Selfless and the Barons and, and the uh, Mantid. So they played that out well. I think the the main hey. drawback for the second place, why he didn't win, was just that he his minions weren't big enough. He had opportunities to scale those those murlocs but decided that oh it's gonna be a murloc mirror which it was so i don't need to focus on getting scaling uh i can just have the divine shield advantage and then the selfless baron advantage and that should be enough <laughs> unfortunately because he didn't scale enough the, the other player realized that there was a weakness there made uh gas crawler reborns reborn his um his ball of minion and use that tempo with the Kurtris or a hero power. He knows that his gas core is going to be summoning uh, significantly stronger minions. Hit a good fight. Hit a good roll with the gas crawler and took took the victory. So definitely, I think both players made the correct assumption. It's just that the assumption from the second place player didn't fully translate into the end of the game and into the specific game state. Normally, I think. You, you do ignore the stats, but here, if he just had a little bit more stats, then he wouldn't be able to get uh, technically scammed in a way with the Gas Curler Reborn shenanigans. So just a good game played out, I think, by all the, the people, especially in the ones in top four, but just a, a bit of a miscalculation in what the end of the game state actually would be in the final, the final battle. So kind of interesting there. All right, I'm back. <laughs> I know you've been back for a while, but you wanted to let me finish because it was like, oh, Collins is doing something. <laughs> yeah, I just like, you know, I, it might not tax you too much. It's like, don't, don't wear yourself out too early, right? Or... I've, I've been a caster shitty, don't worry. <laughs> uh, okay. okay, so we have Finley over Reno, Paramat as well, but I guess six armor is tempting. I like Finley because you can get a really good hero Ooh. with... Uh, Kind of yeah. surprised with Cookie over Edwin. Maybe it's a no mech lobby. We'll see. Cookie over Edwin. I don't like Edwin anyways. I, 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 I'd i probably be a Cookie player. He's so, got a... He's got good armor, though. And well, someone's picking Rag. Whoa. 
Rag over direct secret guy Tamsin. I guess the other three are that great. Secret guy, armor, ice block. I don't like him that much. I I might pick oh, him. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Trickster had a really bad result though, so he might be like, all right, let's just high roll him. Yeah, let's fucking get there. But why don't the, why doesn't the hero up. selection linger for like three turns? Come on, I want to yeah. talk about it. Uh, this is a massive high roll though. You're getting treasure, hopeless yeah. good armor. Really? Yeah. That's what I'm yeah. saying. This is why I like Finley right here because you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, can win a get lobby like this. You get hooked as hero power with six armor. Like, come on. That's not fair at all. It's armor tier three, right? Yeah. yeah. Armor tier three. You don't lock so this, we, we, no. Uh, no, no. I, you're hero powering one of them, so it's not as tempting anymore. Thank you for the 31 months. I should, I should pretend to be a streamer here. <laughs> <laughs> pretend to be a streamer. <laughs> So just taking a look at the heroes, I think everyone has like semi reasonable hero. You could say that Daryl isn't like going to win, but I think it's reasonable in this type of tournament where top four is like really good. Um yeah. the Ragnaros is the weird one to me. Like you the know, but... it's really weird as well. Because it's uh it's a beast and it's a mech lobby, so it's not like like if it's a no beast no mech lobby, then it's pretty sweet because you can just play poison and then still have tokens. But is, is in this lobby, I'm not sure. Murlocs are in, right? Okay. But there's also beast and there is mech, so it's not like you can't have tokens. Yeah, but you sense. can play Murlocs with tokens. You know? Yeah, but you still get cleaned up by other people playing tokens. Oh, oh right? is mechs in as well? You said beast and mechs. Mechs are in, beasts okay. are in, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm, it, I'm it, saying, is, it is a little weird. Yeah. Yeah, in the no beast, no mech lobby. It's, but then again, any any comp that works with a Baron, Sneed still does a lot of work because you get the uh, double. It's just not a meta hero at all right now. It, it it can be okay if you get the right quests, um, right? So if you get like a summon quest or, or death rattle quest, it can be really good. That's a funny dance. I mean, but you you take it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. I'm just a bit... Um wow, we're slamming it. Are you not? Okay. It's turn three. Oh, so you're holding your hand is what you're saying. Well, my my instinct as well was to even hold the cat. And I, I think I might have just like sold rock pool and double bot. Right? Uh, and then you have then you have cats and whatever you bought. I'm in not your sure hand, he's ready. trying to like first place with. I think he just wants to not take damage and go for like a top four because he's the one who won the last game, right? So he's thinking, I won the last yeah, game, but... I top four this game, I'm good. But th there's there's something to be said to being too conservative that you end up losing because I, you gave up. I've done um, that before. Yeah, that's we'll, enough. We'll see too. how it turns out for him, but I think that's probably the mindset there where. He's like, well, okay, so we saved three or four health, right? Yeah. yeah. That that could end up being relevant, I guess. I mean, you're playing Daryl. Like, you you have to, you, you may as well, like, you want to be as strong as possible in the early game, and then you start <laughs> losing in the late game. But at that point, you're, you're like, going for it, you don't care. Uh, <laughs> this feels like a kidnap sack, but yeah, he does I'm, have a Geomancer in the hands for this. Even without stuff. looking at the. Um, the 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 requirements it looked like kidnap sap, but let me see. So it is a Murloc game, so you could sneak yeah. We can't really see the shop, but there is a really good beast already. There is a sewer rat. So if there is a Murloc or a beast like a tat, I think it's a no brainer. We're just like slam kidnap sack and but he does have Geomancer in the hand, so he does start with an extra card to the hand there. Mm -hmm. So he gets three cards to the hand this turn minimum. I think that was far left, but yeah, it looks like we are grabbing the Murloc and the Beast, so that makes sense. Yeah, kidnap sec. Right, sure. How did you know? Da, da, da. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. And right, he gets the minutes. plus two, the plus one, yeah. plus two. What a monster. I love it. Is he just like sitting on a couch, by the way? Like, that's kind of giga chat. Just, just playing Lobby Legends from the couch. No problem. Where, where else <laughs> are you supposed to play it from? Uh, that's great. Uh, so cookie high roll. Really Holy shit! Yeah. This is that's that's a first place kind of start. If the quest is also good, they're in an amazing spot. But they're they're My cookie, God. so the quest is gonna take forever regardless. 
Well, not necessarily, right? If it's a card to hand quest, we got two thorn callers, but we'd have to see, of course. Yeah, but, but that's his start, his start, start is man. really good. It's insane how good it is. Because normally you're supposed to always oh it's wait, 25 for, oh, for Sneed. Okay. That's good. Yeah, that's good for Sneed. I was gonna say you, you normally always lose the first round, and like he barely gets there, right? Like he could have easily also won if that's one drop wasn't the tipper that summoned. See, but this I'm saying like Sneed is okay because like if you get a good quest, it actually doesn't yeah. doesn't bother you at all. Oh, oh my, my god! god. Okay. Can we not? This is all so right. fucking illegal. Oh, it's by demons. Okay. Oh, it's by demons. Oh my lord! So he gets it as well. Oh, and it's it's why not? What? Okay. Why the fuck He's not? All right, so he... <laughs> what's the quest reward? What's the quest reward? Did you see or not? Um, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't pay attention. Jesus, man! Dude, he like, this drinks his water like snack. this is a high roll, like crazy. Out oh. because it's a snicker snack reward, right? And he pulls a five, so he can get to Agam or Bran. That's actually so disgusting. And the curve is perfect because he went three on three, so he just levels for five, buys the minion, and that's your eight gold turn. <sighs> my good, oh yeah, like this my is sometimes on, my mommy, my 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 money's on yeah, the cookie. My, money's on the cookie. Money's on the cookie. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> the, the 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 sometimes you have this on ladder when you just fight a three on three opponent. You're like, oh, so you just bought all three drops? Huh? Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> that, that doesn't nice. happen to me. <laughs> like yeah. smiley face, like. <laughs> uh. Definitely a good turn. So Kurt's here. He's got the peasant. It's called peasant, right? Or is it? I don't remember the name of the card. You know what I'm talking about? I'm here, the one one. No, no, no. I was blowing windows. Oh. Um, this, you mean the scout on the yeah. wax board? Yeah, or? yeah. What's the cow called? What? What's the counter or what's the, the name of the card? Patient scout. Patient scout. Okay, I thought it was peasant. <laughs> It's Peasant not. scout. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he gets the tie versus the monster board. That's the summon 15. Uh, Sneed barely gets there, but Rag loves this, right? Rag yeah, fought yeah, Sneed Rag and is really happy all but one minion. Yeah. It's huge. We're not watching Cookie get the triple. Interesting. Okay. Um, so you probably just level by hero power. He's he he uh only X slowed it played it slow, right? So he stayed on two, so that's something to think about. Yeah. So he wanted to juice his but his quest a bit more, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's something you have to play the hero. He knows oh he wants to trigger his quest. Hero powering is really good for getting I, extra death. Well, levels. so twenty five things had to die. That's uh -huh. pre that's pretty big for an by high armor hero. So are we getting a massive quest reward? I assume we are, right? I assume we are. Like It'd be nice if we could hover over. Yeah, it, like okay. okay. along the two way. Murlocs. Two Murlocs. Two Murlocs. Okay. Yeah, okay. So it is a beast mech lobby, so you do need huge stats, but if you get two Murlocs, two every Murlocs turn, it's a lot easier the way to, to do, do it. That, yeah. yeah, that's that's almost guaranteed a golden honcho at some point. What do you hear about here? Uh the... probably yeah, six. Six. I, oh, that's tough, right? Yeah. I I would hear power the beginning. Yeah, that that that's the beginning. I would hear power, so I like it. Okay, good. The rock pool? Okay. <laughs> I I was wondering if he was gonna go. What he was gonna go for? I think the six six already has um some some hits in it, and and you know you're keeping the murloc, so it has to be a murloc. Uh, uh, I mean, wait, wait. Why why are you? Oh, oh he's got two in it. Okay, so I think that's why because he was considering it, right? So if it yeah. only has one in it. Then you do it there. Yeah, but, if you I have mean, one in it, yeah. This you, you don't know if you're keeping your rock pools guaranteed. Uh, I mean, right? like, it's I pretty that's a, likely. That's a bit of a statement to make. Like, I'm just uh, rock pools. I'm keeping them for sure. I mean, I, I I wouldn't be surprised if he's ending the game with rock pools. So, well, you triple that for sure, and because your quest is gives you two murlocs. Mm -hmm. But after that, yeah. oh, oh he's for greeted. Six. Oh, he went for a six. Okay. Oh, okay. That's, that's I like that too because Felbat and. Uh, Kilbor stuff is really good. Yeah. Mm. Is it Murkai or Dark Gaze? Elder, Elder, Elder percent. Okay. It's not even close. You're not going. You're. You're not. Oh, I didn't. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Ne never mind. I'm... <laughs> but you can you can not have that duo, and it's still elder for me because you have probably you have but, nothing for Murkai. I'm thinking. Right? I'm you know I, I would think harder. That's all. As I'm saying, I would think a little bit harder. I, I think then you just let the pressure get to you a bit, where you're just like, "Am I buying this eight? Am I taking this eight five Murloc in a beast mech lobby where I would have Opium. to roll Toxpin or I'd selling the yeah. 10 nine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sell yeah, the okay. ten nine and then roll, roll by. by. Okay. Yeah, the Daryl play. But I, I could see that. Like, yeah, the pressure would probably get to you if, if I were to do that. I, I you're probably right. Because you know, you know, like you know how to play a dark gaze game, and like, because <laughs> sometimes what happens is you get so entrenched in this, like, well, but Murlocs are in, so I guess stats are completely useless. Dude, like, I, no, I mean, dude, I've had some games like that. Where yeah. I'm yeah. like, relax your head, so let me not do anything else. And then let me like, oh, two foul bats and a trickster, unplayable. unplayable. <laughs> exactly. Dice to poison, unplayable. Yeah, right. <laughs> but no, I, I feel you because I've I've been in that mindset myself. And it's it's just so it's so liberating to realize, well, I mean, even if poison is in, if you play a stat comp and you play it really well, you can always adjust in the late game if it does come down to like a super scammy mm -hmm. fight, right? Where you can always gem transfer to a shield and then run your only or a queen. But for oh, the vast, vast majority of the game. Okay. That yeah, explains yeah, why he's not game. playing it. That explains the whole also he's so strong. That it'd be very unlikely for him to lose with this board on the what is it, turn seven? Yeah. I mean, but th that's what I'm saying. That is the game plan of this of this Daryl player. He got first, right? So he's like, I don't need to yeah. win. I just need to. No, that's forward. that's a that's a, that's a really satisfying uh, game, I think, where he can quite easily stroll into top four with mm -hmm. tiny henchman Daryl. Yeah, yeah. Just buff, buff, buff. Have a good okay. time. So we have cookbook on this hook tusk. So well, Finley hook tusk. What is the counter at? We, cook it. I mean, I, uh, we cook it. We cook yeah. it. Yeah, we cook. We have a it. we have a lot of contenders here, right? So we have this we have this Giga High Roll Cookie who's uh -huh. doing really well. Yeah, we have this um, Sneet who completed the get two Murlocs per turn, and he's uh, Sneet, so it's really good for the poison wire in the end game. Uh -huh. Then we have this uh, Cookie. It's like these uh, players are good. I know. It's, it's like they're good, right? I know. Yeah. It's so disgusting. Like what these players are actually. He's already on five five. Okay, <laughs> he's he's making good pace. Like this is a good pace for yeah, cookbook. yeah. This is good. Yeah, plus fine. five five on turn eight is good pace. So yes, yeah, so we already have like four players that we saw that are doing quite well. Where Daryl is doing well, but probably won't win, but very likely top four. And then hooked us, we'll get the which money. is Finley, Cookie, and oh, he's selling. Uh, okay, so he's gonna go full tempo then. Oh, he's oh, nice. yeah. Well, he, he, wants he, got from the Ren he wants something from the Rendell, so is he it triple selling? Yeah. yeah, yeah, always. Wow, not getting the reset. I know. Oh, oh, that's oh, I don't like that because the... no, no, he could get screwed. He, I think he realizes now that he could get screwed. I think he yeah. just realized that he could get screwed here. Then yeah. he does, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's the issue. He went for the green play, but then he realized oh, I messed up. <laughs> I, I honestly thought that he was going to <laughs> full sell that tad and just play down a unit at that point, but Oh, to recover yeah. the misplay. I could see it. No, I mean for me it's so alien to not buy the deflecto bot there. <laughs> yeah, so just I like, know, but he's thinking I'll, he's thinking I'll thinking I'll just get it next turn. <laughs> I'll just get it next yeah. turn, but but then he realized that he forgot he had the four five. Yeah, uh, the red so, really messed him up there. Yeah, a bit unlucky. But I mean, he could recover. He might just sell the deflecto now because it's not even that good. He wants to. He'd rather have a bigger one. Well, you could, you could also still triple it, right? So, but yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Good. He could. Yeah, that's true. You could just get because you are you are playing cookbook. It right, will be massive that's, that's even a good if point. one of them is buffed. Yeah, we just maybe hold that in our hand. Ooh, a triple. Uh, the rag is also just the definition of a, a top four game here, yeah, I'd say. With, sure. uh, oh, the, oh, oh, no. Okay, okay. We, things we just spoke got too better. We... <laughs> things just got better because you got a module in the hand. Yeah. Um, I guess you just run mackerel, hold module. That's fair. That's super fair, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
And then he's thinking about, do I want to make my money work here or just roll, right? Yeah, uh, I think you just roll. You just don't care. Instinctively, yeah. I've I don't got the Murloc guy. No brand, yes, though. tripled into a Murkai. Oh. Ooh, okay. Whoa, no. whoa, whoa. Oh, well, no, you can't. Well, you could sell the 5.7. Maybe you sell the 5.7. Oh, you mean uh, get rid of your war leader to yeah, the war play Murkai yeah, at the yeah, buffet? Yeah. yeah. That is fair. It's okay. I mean, this is fine too, I guess. It's not crazy. I think you want the 4 4 <laughs> first, right? Because you want it with the Murkai buff. It's better than the, the other guy. Okay. Yeah, Golden Swallow is not terrible. It's not terrible Murkai. for sure, but I mean, the plus two plus two every turn is. Like, it depends on how much you're keeping from this board. So, do you sell your warrior now? I guess you don't. Just hold a gas curler. Sure, that's fine. I think that's okay. So we're we're not insanely strong for turn. No, nine, no. no, zero yeah, poisons. That, <laughs> that's my that's my issue for Oliak here. Like, he has a good setup, but he hasn't hit like those premium Murloc cards that make you feel like, oh, I'm actually dominating. That is a thirty-three health micro mummy, but. If that uh, Murloc behaves, yeah, okay. The Murloc behaved. I love it. <laughs> the Murloc behaved. That's, that's the way you look at it. Behave, Murloc. <laughs> <laughs> well, the deflecto still carries, but it's uh, it's a lot less damage than if the uh, Swamp Striker doesn't. Cookbook is pretty enough. good. Just gonna yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I mean, we were on plus five turn. Ooh, someone uh, died. Today. Who died? Yeah, the Varden, Varden seemed We didn't talk struggling. about the Varden at all. We didn't see him. Yeah. We didn't see him. Well, someone's playing um, Leapers. Leapers. Leapers in this ELO. What is going on? The Cookie, who has had this insane start, was still on 30, but uh, takes big chunk from the Leapers this yeah. turn. Senior held your Leaper player. Disgusting. Filthy. I'll do anything for points. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Such a chat, man. Plays from the couch, plays leapers. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, Daryl is ready. Daryl is ready. He's locked and loaded. Wants to get one more round of shop minions. It's an the, interesting Daryl board, but he's the at annoying, line, right? so. yeah. yeah, I think you're holding. So senior held rolling it down Ooh. for the golden frog, the golden baron. The golden frog. The golden frog the is a Golden frog, huh? Golden's actually pretty solid here. Yeah. Hero yeah, yeah. power of the 3-3, three, three, yeah. You could cycle the 2-2, two, two, but I think it's kind of... Uh, I like this playing, trying to play around Blaster a little bit. Yeah, he, for sure. He's not cycling the 2-2. Two, two. How dare he? He just wasted 1-1 one, one in stats, Shady. He just yeah, wasted I mean, one, two, one two rolls for Baron is way better. <laughs> What is Leapers? Did you get Baron though? No. <laughs> oh, so this is interesting, right? We can see the the fear of White Mane here, putting mm -hmm. the Leaper in the back, which I, might be annoying, to be honest. I don't think um, people are going to White Mane this early, so I don't think you have to worry about it. But I, I, I think it's respectable. But he's at 31. So I don't even know if... The, the issue is where if the... Uh, if the rat, if the sewer rat dies before the leaper, it uh, can be not can going be for the wall of minion ball. pair. Interesting. Just going for the stats. I, I respect it. Yeah. So this is not quite the cool board board the cookie has, but it's really solid. Got the perfect ball. Yeah. It's like reliable, but is it powerful? No. It's, it's kind of like a top five board, if I'm going to be honest. Like, <laughs> and this lobby, uh, yeah. this lobby has some serious high rollers in it. Most lobby legends lobbies do. Yeah. You're like, wow, everyone in lobby legends is high rolling. That's because they're good. <laughs> That's because they're good, baby. <laughs> well, let's be honest. Forcing they are, two, they are kind of high rolling. That's two true. overseers, That's like that does nothing to do with how good you are, right? Like you either roll two uh, overseers or you don't. I mean, they're just good That's at the honest. game, Shady. Don't you know? Yeah. That's how if you were better at the game, Shady, maybe you would roll two yeah. overseers on two three. Yeah. All right. That's he's, funny. Like he's not taking yeah, too the, much. 
at the start of the fight, it's like, well, it doesn't look that, but you're like, nah, Leapers will win. That's too much. I, I'm very familiar with the Leapers will win. It's well, what happened to the cookie? Uh, so cookie got chunked by Leapers and then oh, lost another the hmm. Yeah, in a poison lobby, understandable, I'd say. Because yeah. with uh, look at how many gems are in the hand, then the dark gaze is still gonna buff. These duos are gonna get so massive. Yeah. Okay. I guess. Interesting that he's got this uh, thorn collar all the way through, but I guess we never hit. Well, he has a no. He has. A, look at this quest reward. Snicker snack, okay. Yeah, yeah. so the golden one, one it makes sense. The golden one it makes yeah, sense. Yeah. The other one is still a bit, but yeah, we just played that and kept it because we didn't hit anything else. That's a fair point to make. Oh. I like I like Trickster's board now. You know, like we were saying, we were saying it's a top four. Now I now I think he has a chance. So, I mean, unless people leap uh, Leroy him, but if yeah, I like. I like it a lot more on ladder. This thing. It, if if yeah. they don't Leroy him, they you know like maybe the first time they fight him, right? Then he gets to chunk yeah. him, and then, uh, you know afterwards, like maybe it's yeah, it's it's it. it is the right move, I'd say. Um, one thing I guess is that I might want the, the three, uh, six, deflecto. The deflecto with the reset, I think I'd want up just one so up that well. there's slightly more chance it'll he, reset. He, he wants very, to very buff the, uh, the bigger one, I guess. He's yeah, but the goal could also be a read on the opponent that there is something to oh, trump. Oh, they have but... Leroy's. What? Yeah. What? How? Why? Why do people I'd like run Leroy, Shady? Why? <laughs> well, you don't, skip, you don't skip Leroy Lobby Legends, so it's... Uh... I do. And it's wrong, do. Colin. So and it's wrong, Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get oh, a lot oh, of that hit was that hit was actually kind of okay. It was a phenomenal hit. That mama was gonna do a lot of work, so why do people run Leroy's? Why must people be evil? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so they countered the mech roll and you're upset about that? I maybe I'm a trickster fan. <laughs> That's a good point. Can't yeah. wait. Alright, so he did shave off a ton of damage. Like this could have been far worse. Yeah, this could have been like like upwards of like eighteen to twenty. Yeah, if the mama lives. It's nasty. you're right. You're actually right. What am I saying? You're actually right, <laughs> Shady. I. Uh, yeah. So I think he's looking at finding another module and then playing a perfect ball of minions to fifty fifty the Leroy. Yeah, that's that's very fair. What are we looking at in this shop? Are we thinking about the uh, two-two? That's a bit weird, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> How does Trickster get out of that room, though? <laughs> <laughs> good question. Ooh, that's pretty good. So he's yep, just yep. chilling here, hoping. Yeah, he's essentially just a... praying. You know, I have to play a rag. So please don't leave me, and then maybe I can cheese a top four. Oh, he's no, he's gonna go for it. Okay. And then you sell. Right. And then you play down the units. You I guess. could hold that in your hand because he has a red hand. He does right? have red hands, yeah. and he's on it, nineteen. It's it's yeah. a little greedy, but it's something to think about. This it is possible. Yeah. yeah. All right. It looks like Senior House really doing what I hate. Like this he got the Golden Baron, yeah. So not... now, so when you when you're at that stage, you're really looking at okay. Please don't blaster Blaster me. me. Yeah. Please don't white me. me. Yep. Please don't Wind Fury cleave me. But Nagas yeah. are out. So at at the highest levels, there's like so <laughs> many things that could go wrong. Like I could, yeah. You you could still lose so easily. <laughs> But if they don't have the tech, if, you win. That's, yeah. that's the thing. It's just yeah, like macro. If they don't have the tech, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Although I'd say this one even more so, where it's easier to outstat that macro board than it is to outstat that Libra board because we have a Golden Baron by now. Oh, taunt on the Deflecto. This white main's actually doing stuff. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that deflector was going to die anyway, though, right? But it, it bumped the shield off. It bumped the shield off. So the double damage did nothing, but the bump on the shield because it had taunt was great. Well, cookies doing cookie things. White main really, really. Because really. Say 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 was fine yeah. that fight. Yeah, white, white main really did. Didn't. Oh, no, you're not. Yeah. Oh, looks like Daryl's first damage is about to happen here. Yeah, it's Ooh. funny, right? You look at this board and like if you're like normal, you're like, well, it looks like Daryl's way better. And then you're like, nah, he's playing. No, he's playing no, here. He's there's no chance. Yeah. Looks like we killed Sneed. So oh, okay. I'm guessing Sneed did not have a Leroy. I want to see all the export. The one he died with. Yeah. yeah. But instead, we're watching the frogs jump. Yeah, so. we're watching frogs do frog <laughs> things. I'm sure chat in the main chat's like, we leapers, you know, or whatever people do here. But yeah. I don't yeah. Know. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. It looks like Oleg just couldn't find enough. Well, I mean, he had even the Murloc find... stuff, right? So I guess he had the Murkai, but even yeah. if he found, even if he finds Brad, if he doesn't play Leroy against Trickster's board, it's still nasty. But, but this is what I'm saying, right? Like in you in Beast Mech lobbies, you can't force the Murlocs like you can in other lobbies because you see everyone's running some variant of of Mech Murlocs. I, I, it's it's possible, but you need to pay your tax, right? You yeah. need to run the Blaster, you need to run the Leroy, you need to run the Selfless like earlier than you would normally. You but can't that, just it's, like it's hard it to do that and have a strong Murloc board as well, like during the yeah, those, yeah, those yeah. Windows, so. sure. that's I, I mean, that's just it's just significantly harder. It's not as free, if that yeah. yeah. Like no no mech, no beast is free for yeah, Murloc. It's very free. He's yeah, against that's the, um, the Leaper player. Um, I definitely want to look at that Zap, but he has a white main as well. Uh, yeah, he's looking at whether he wants to run Zap and white main. Because he could so, go white main cleave as well, right? So I think that's what he's planning to do, white main. Yeah. Zap. I, essentially, to run the Zap, you have to look at your board yeah. and say, am I selling my Agam? Am I yeah, selling my two minions. Yeah, it's it's yeah. too many minions you have to sell. Oh, yeah, I like, like this. Oh, yeah. But yeah, for cool. sure. I mean, what else, right? <laughs> well, you could, you could target else? the Ago. Uh, no, no, I'm you just, can't. But I'm saying, like, you could. Like, the, you said what else, right? And that's the what else. Okay. I don't think it's a realistic I'm play, just saying, dude. you asked. You know, yeah, I've asked the question with the yeah, Sure. I mean, we could, also just, we could also sell all our minions and concede, but, you know. Like, yeah, you exactly. Know, I, it's, it happens sometimes. <clears throat> Look at this. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> this is what we talked about, Chad. It's the cleave with the white maid that's the problem. It's, oh, God. Yeah, this is uh, straight up mm. dead if that white maid mm -hmm, doesn't die. Because right? mm -hmm. we're on six. So that, that, that Dargaze alone is 12. This is why I don't mean. play Leapers, chat. You guys are always yeah. telling me, oh, you should be playing Leapers here, Collins. I'm like, no, there's it's, too many answers. And there's no, even more now. So okay. it's even worse. White so maid died, but how much do we have? 12, 17, he's, he's 19, dead for sure. 21. He's yeah, dead yeah. for sure. Because oh. the ball didn't die. Yeah, it, it's like 26 or, or something, 29, yeah. yeah. Yep, just one shot. That is savage, though. You 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 made it to a Golden Baron Leaper comp. It's in not Robin. good. I'm telling you, don't play Leaper. No. There's too many yeah. answers. It's not good. I'm not... I, I think now that White Mate is a thing, there's too many answers, yeah. See, seeing your help, though, like, it sucks. Like, he was in a great, theoretically great spot, but, like, there's... There's too many All right, colors. Trickster did make it here. It looks like he did tempo that menace, by the way. Yeah, uh, and it was kind of a close win. I think well, when we saw actually until, uh... he has he has menace on both deflector, so we don't know if he <laughs> tempoed it. Right, right. So maybe he held and then played out. And found another one. Yeah, it's possible. Barra's blessing. Are they are they actually fighting each other? <laughs> Copium? Maybe they have the right one now. Yeah, yeah. we can actually see them play each other. Uh, so. That taunt that Leroy is trouble for Kurt for sure. Uh, I mean, either way, it, it's gonna die in one hit because it either hits the ninety nine or the, the Leroy. So I I think the 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 what's the the wag toggle has no chance. Yeah, yeah, no, no, for sure. Yeah, I don't know it's why weird. we're I don't know why this is a Barrow's blessing. It's not close at all. I, I think they need to do one per game, per and game, they need okay. to then look at then which one is they, closest. They messed so. up. They should have done it a lot earlier. Should have picked it. Yeah. 
should do it on like turn six with like yeah, not a full board. Yeah, like there's some shit. Maybe like, like turn, right, who turn would, eight. I think turn eight, eight turn eight. nine is a good time. Then again, I mean, for us, it's very obvious. I think yeah. for for a lot of people, it's obvious, but you you just I mean, <laughs> it it's hard to put your why is adding uh is adding some Leroy's. Yeah, he's adding some Leroy's. I can't believe it. The uh, it is it is still a bit of a well. If that taunted Leroy goes, uh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say there's a chance if the deflector bot gets soaked by the thing. The um, the deflector would have to go into the um, yeah, the Leroy. Then I think we're and we're then, playing a match. And then there's where... a chance. Yeah, I think you you're you're kind of maybe you have a chance. So what the board looked like, it was like, why is this a blessing? But then after the thought that Leroy came down, it's like, okay. Now Kurt, Kurt made really Kurt made it less obvious. Yeah. Like Kurt <laughs> made it so that there was more than the there it wasn't hundred percent lose. He made yeah, that that's where maybe the way to say it. Wow. And uh looks like it's not even a top four for the Daryl. So you can really see in Lobby Legends, how that can also bite you, right? Like being too conservative. That that mm -hmm. is the issue yeah. with Daryl in high level lobbies, right? Like you don't want to play it because you're not guaranteed the top four. In low level lobbies, you are, right? But as players get better, your Daryl scaling falls off significantly hard, so it feels a lot worse. He already has like. That's set up to make poison divine as soon as he finds the ball of minions. So. Well, I think a, a big part of that as well is because we're with quests right now, where quests do add a lot of scaling. In the buddy meta, Daryl's buddy was actually really good. Right now, like the Daryl quest could just be so mediocre. Was it good? I don't know. I played the, sure was really nice. Yeah, I, I played know, a ton I didn't of didn't really love Daryl and, and buddy okay. meta. I played so much of it because I I did I did so much trickster dancing because trickster was still a one drop back then, oh. and then I uh, like in beast demon lobbies no mech right, and uh, no were that guy yeah. that's true yeah I would dance on tricksters and then roll macaws and then you'd have a so because the problem a lot of the time is with macaw trickster is you have nothing to buff but then the buddy would be huge so then the the macaw would proc the trickster the trickster would the, go onto I the buddy and, yeah like it was like it was really good Daryl like I, I would just win lobbies with it. If Murlocs were out, because you would just make like 80 health tricksters with a macaw. Not, not the lobbies I was in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not good enough against me. But you you weren't you, you weren't playing in no Murloc lobbies. They're saying. Uh, no Murloc lobbies were fine for me because it means I get to play like with all stats, you know. No I mean, how 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 do you not have a chance to win if you have an 80 health? Like golden trickster with no, call. I, I hear you. I'm saying like that, like that's good, and you could win with okay. it. I'm just saying like I've I. Ooh, I've the blaster killed kill the Leroy, but yeah, but is still... that enough? I don't know if it's enough. Right? Yeah, I mean the mech girl's doing a lot of work, but we have too many resets. I'd say. Well, no, 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 because he gets a resets too. Right? Oh, there's the no man doesn't have resets. Like, um, yeah, there's no man. Yeah, okay, that's didn't reset at all. Yeah, he actually has. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. I think he wins now. Right? Yeah, he wins. Okay. He doesn't kill him, though, so it's fine. Yeah, Macro getting there. The power of adding Menace on your Deflectos, guys. It's it's not. Super good. You gotta. You, you have to, you know, do your diligence there. It, not having resets on your Macros, or your Deflectos, especially if you're playing them. Uh, as your late game engine, it's just like you're you're kind of trolling a little bit. But so looks like the cookie got out of the dark gaze scaling. Did no. make a massive battle. Kurt once again the getting game. fourth, which might actually just be enough, right? Like double fourth if he gets like another fourth. You think you might yeah, if he gets fourth or better, now he's through most likely. You and you, uh, he he looks stressed. Don't know why. I think he's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's the nature of the nature of the game, man. Yeah, maybe. Why is he stressed? <laughs> why? What am I even saying? Not like <laughs> playing for ten grand. Yeah. Covio. Uh, yeah. 
He's looking at this white uh, in there. Hmm. Yeah, I think he's thinking about taunting the Flectobot. It's that or um, you get the 7-7 seven, seven here instead. <clears throat> I like taunting the Flectobot. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, he is going to get the 7-7. Seven, seven, out so. of a duo. He got out of a, like a 78 health duo for a 7-7. Seven, seven. I don't know if I love that. No, no, no. He wants to play down a minion, so he taunts both the Flectobots. Ah. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about that. Yeah. I don't use white main that much, so... I don't have right, the tech, right. and I, I I like that adapting. It's a good decision. I like yeah, this yeah. a lot because they also take double damage, right? So your reborn yeah, yeah. coil so deals yeah, damage. Yeah. To it. Oh, right. so unfortunately they didn't move a Leroy there. Yeah. So, but I like the the plan the, was great. The idea was cool. Yeah. It also gets it, the it, best it, hit. These these hits are really bad for him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that kills the reset. Just, yeah. The the plan was cool. Best, the, yeah, the plan yeah. was great. Now he does still take double damage. So if that poison can dodge the battle master, maybe. The, how's the poison gonna dodge the battle? Well, long enough to not die. I mean, right? Oh, so it's like the lasting hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like we kill the rest. Maybe. It it because <laughs> the deflector always lives, right? Yeah, but we, we don't die, right? That's we, what I mean. We, sh we should, right? Oh, oh, wow. He got so bailed out. Okay, so he would have died. He would have died, right? If the deflector lived? No. His face is five. Five, it's seven. Like three. No, I guess so. Five, seven, poison three. Would, poison would die taking out the battle. So he'd be at one. Okay, you're right. Wait, okay, so it's... it's uh His face is five. Yeah, yeah. Deflector is three. Yeah. And nothing else should live. The menace. Right? Is, the menace. Is. But I guess the menace will die. Wait, no, the Flecto wouldn't have died, right? If you're talking. No, no, he had two about... menace procs. Okay, I'm not understanding what there, you're saying. There was multiple. There was, there was two menaces. On which one was, on the on Flecto, one on the other card that died. Mecro. Yeah, maybe the Mecro. Yeah, so. But the Flecto dying would just replace its stars. Yeah, yeah. The the yeah, so stars. it's five plus three for the Flecto. And then maybe if the three from the menaces don't die, he only takes eleven, so he's always at one, is what I'm saying. Okay. So he he never dies. Okay. So yeah, we have this early cookbook still doing great, which is you know not I mean, surprising. Cookbook is is maybe the best. <laughs> We talk about this triple Leroy having 81 health. That's pretty funny. Well, he just bought three Leroy's with cookbooks. And whoopsie. I, whoops, I have 81 health now. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's fun. Whoops. I, I, I think it's the right play. I also like the positioning here where we're not... Because uh, if, if you put that Harvest Golem up, it never gets an extra reset. Yeah, yeah. We're more Even focused we on um, the... Defenders. Well, I guess uh, Leroy going first, killing Macaroni, right? For that reason, it's good to have Harvest up a bit. Why main? Ooh, yeah. got the I same play, the it, same tech, but this time he gets rewarded. Yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> yeah, that deals so much damage already. But the we do have that huge Leroy. At the end. Yeah, that does take care of the battle yeah. master. So. Even though the plan worked, the this plan time, is good, but he just doesn't have the stats. You know. Yeah, the numbers on the cookbook board are just way too high. And this this, me this macro once again is like I I don't like macro as a card. Like what is this? I am once again countering your board. Uh, once again broken and beyond belief. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is just a a outclass in terms of board strength. No, this is an outclass in terms of like cookbook is stupid. Oh, he died. Oh, he died. Oh, board, board strength, right? Yeah. He so died to the ghost. Yes, he did. Wow. <laughs> Ghosts are strong in Lobby Legends. Yeah, so. ghosts are strong in Lobby Legends. You can't ignore like, them. Like that, like the first person that dies could be insanely strong. Like this mm -hmm. happens as well. Where I've I've seen this where in Lobby Legends qualifiers, people greed a little bit too hard against the first ghost. And the first ghost was just really strong, but either low rolled or they just fought someone who was giga, giga, giga high rolling. 
Like that, that, that just happens. So, I've yeah. died to the ghost. I mean, you're you're probably watching my games. <laughs> I've seen that. Yeah, I think you were. You held back on a gem or something, right? Yeah, yeah. It didn't work out. Yeah, yeah, I, don't bring I it up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that never happened. That was a bad dream. Whatever. It just hurts. But yeah, right. it, yeah, it's interesting, right? This was a Murloc lobby. Mm -hmm. No Murlocs in the late game. Absolutely none. Because you just got... Like, this is why we always talk about, oh, Beast Mech's in? Oh, I'm not playing Murlocs. Because yeah. it's so hard. You the, the best example is Oleak, who had a more yeah. than premium Murloc setup yeah. on the on the Sneet and took a Solo 7, I think. So yeah, Solo 7. Yeah. And he because was the he only one on really contesting yeah. the Murloc engine. So it's like their Murlocs weren't in the pool or some other excuse. Still, second, well, I guess third place with Rag is pretty solid. But yeah, so unfortunately, he did have a really bad result to start off with. So he's going to have to perform in the last one for sure. Uh, what was the cookie? Who was the cookie? Say, say, say. Uh, Yeah, cooking, right? Yeah. yeah. Our money was cooking. on the cookie. Feels good, man. Wait, was it? No, no, no. No, 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 no it wasn't. Us? Was the hook tusk? It was the hook tusk, yeah. The cookie was Zanyu, I think. So third place tie. Okay. So yeah. still pretty good, I guess. Yeah, yeah, great, great start. The uh yeah, I mean hook tusk, cookbook, mexeren. That's yeah. Uh, time is on your side. That's always nice to have. It's so rough for the bottom two. Only senior held here. I do you even get there? Yeah. Like, if you get first as senior, you're nine point five. I don't think that's senior is so savage because he he had a first place board. Yeah. In some lobbies, yeah, like and he still died like sixth or fifth or so. That's because that's because he went. <laughs> now teach him not to play leapers anymore. He'll remember this day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in the on ladder, yeah, that feels so much better. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. Even in ladder, dude, I I don't like playing leapers. Not for me. Same thing with hoggers. Do like they take three minutes between every game? By the way, or um, yeah, a lot of the, uh, these days, I think for the finals they do. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll, I'll sync it up as well then. Where I take my break as well during that. Oh, you took your break already. Yeah, but I mean, in between the games. I I I gotta use the rest of it. Now it's your yeah, turn, it. Shady. Oh, your turn to entertain chat. Ha <laughs> ha. Go for it. So chat. How we doing? Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll sync up my because uh, they have three minutes here, right? So I'll sync up my ad break with their ad break. Doesn't really make sense to do it on a different time. Have to see if they skip it this time, then we'll probably just do it in between the game. I think we're going into it now, right? Yeah. Yeah, Haberdasher was uh, plus two, plus two for golden version, and you got the golden version pretty fast. That's yeah, it was very reliable. I liked it. But yeah, that was a that was a pretty nasty, pretty nasty game, and it's it's just cool to see the very high level games where you just don't get away with anything. I'm just scrolling chat, seeing if there's anything I missed. So yeah, Leaper Comp is essentially you have the Leaper that dies, which then spreads the death rattle, which is plus one, plus one to another beast. And then you just have a lot of tokens with a Baron. And then it's um, <laughs> exponential scaling. This gets so large. But it's uh, very susceptible to getting messed with. So in this case, 
the white main taunted a minion in the back and then they cleaved which ended up destroying the baron and then the combo is dead of course Yeah, this is very fun, just being able to do this with Collins. Now that Lobby Legends is uh, less of a thing in terms of us playing for qualification, it's more uh, it's more likely that we just get to switch our schedules a bit around and do stuff together again. Yeah, Blaster Baron is also a very common uh, counter. Definitely my uh, method of choice. But if you have a cleave, the white main one seems very consistent. Because even if you don't hit the Baron, if you kill their sewer rat and their rat pack early, that's uh, or parrots, that's also very devastating. <laughs> All right, looks like we're done with the break. It's getting ready for the next game. Go get my coffee now. Should be back in time when the game starts. Looks like we started. Nice. <clears throat> Kurt on Cthulhu. Already in the game. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Zenyu going with. What happened? Oh. Zenyu going with the uh, Thorn guy instead of Scabs. Wait, Trickster's going with Kelthoth instead of. Over Nazoth, but no beast, no mech. Alex Drazer, dude. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> Ali, like, no. Hyrule, you need well, the win. To be fair, in his spot. Yeah, but on the other hand, he could also be hoping just to get like pilfered lamps and complete it, and that's sure, his way sure. to win. That's fair too. Like, there's yeah. two ways: play the hero, play the quest. If you're gonna play, yeah, the quest. yeah. So he's going all in on the quest here, essentially, because if Trickster doesn't get an insane result, he's not gonna. Kurt, Wait. Kurt, Kurt got a Cthulhu twice. That's not fair, yeah, man. That's, that's cheating. <laughs> I'm very surprised by Zanyu's pick. Um, sk skipping best scabs and Millhouse. We do have. And no elemental lobby, so I can kind of understand skips, the millhouse. But he skips scabs and no a millhouse for blackthorn. Yes, hmm. that might be a meta thing where that's more. That's of a... more like quests. He's gonna try to wait, 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 wait. What? He didn't level, or did he? No, he didn't do anything. Senior wait, held. What? Did he AFK? Senior held. Or is he like? Can't he do anything? Is he typing to admins or? I hope so. Because that's game losing. That's Does he a, realize? That's game losing. That's okay. game losing. Yeah, yeah. No, he's, he's typing his stuff and he's okay. not freaking out. So I, we might be seeing a remake. Yeah. That would be so bad. Because he's, I mean, it's not like he has much of a chance. He, he just learned. leveled, so he's still doing something. Uh, 
I mean, like there's no way that, there's no way that happens. I think where he's paying attention, right? And like, it feels like he just wasn't there, like due to this. Kind yeah, of, there's there's no yeah. Like it's lobby legends. Yeah. Like it's not like oh, let me just like skip my first yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah. There's no way. There's no way. Browsing, browsing, browsing Reddit. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, ah, shit! I didn't level. There's oh, no well. way. There's no way. Um, yeah. So we'll have to see if 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 the game stops. Because it's yeah. hard, right? I've 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 played in tournaments where I had an issue like that, and it's just so hard to get everyone a reset. You know, like oh, well, the um. I think the rules do state that you are responsible for your own connection. So it definitely has, um, there's definitely potential for them to just say, well, tough luck, man. Like if, if you timed out, then uh, that's on you. <sighs> so, but that would be so savage. Because to be we fair, have... he's at two point five, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, maybe... I think if he's like in the middle, it's like. Un, you know, unbelievably crushing for that to happen. Dude. But he's already. I don't think he realistically has a shot anyway. Yeah, that I agree. He might not make that it, it might not matter. It. I agree. But we do see with the client that there are plenty of times where I don't really get in my game or something, and I skip the first oh, turn. Yeah, and it has me nothing too. to do with my connection. Me too. Like I can know for sure. Even though the game is telling me, "Are you sure you're online?" It's like, no, no, it's you. Trust me, it's you. It's the game. <laughs> it's not my fault. My connection's fine, thank you. All right, so we we get the Gilwing prompt before we. Yeah, get the I mean, why would you even play Lich Bazal? I think in Lobby Legends in the first place. So I I guess he DC like he just didn't didn't get in the game correctly. That, that's the assumption that he yeah. just missed his hero and then yeah, so, something with the UI or or maybe it was his connection. It's possible. But... Picked selfless here, I guess, for the death rattle quest. But hmm. given that shop, I was pretty happy with the buff on the dragon. Right? Maybe smoking gun here. It is an obese no mech lobby, so. Oh, is it? Hmm. Yeah. My instinct was the four battle cry one and just repeat I know, it. but that one takes forever. Really? Murlocs are in? Okay. It might take less than forever. Okay, fine. Hey, you don't have access to fine, elementals. Fine. Though, so I'm okay with it. Luggies. I'm yeah, but I'm, I'm just a little bit confused about the selfless pick. But I guess he wanted to have the death rattle angle covered because I liked the uh dragon buff and then, then the four battle cry thing would have oh, the three, better, three, right? right with the two four in the shop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can't remember the other minions, but my brain was like, oh, I, li I like the dragon buff, so I guess. Yeah, I, might I be think the dragon buff would have been probably well. better. He, he might have been wanting to. No, he didn't level. No, then. Hmm. Didn't go three on three. Goes oh, for the wow, henchman. Going for tiny henchman. Yeah, this looks sketchy to me, to be honest. The. Uh, what was tiny like henchman anyways? I think fifteen something, like fifteen minions die, or let's we'll see. Die. We'll see if something happens here. If I mean, it's does. funny, right? Oh. That's the one I wasn't picking. It's attacks. He needs to do attacks. Fifteen attacks. Okay. I guess in that regard, selfless helps because you get a shield, so it's a little bit better. Yeah, but I mean, you're not you're not picking selfless before you know your your thing, so it's not. It's kind of. I think it's. Mean, I think it's purely the death rattle angle then that he had. He was like, okay, if I get a death rattle, Chris, I can do it. Well, there is a lot okay. of Murlocs here. <laughs> He hit him a little early. Did get him a little early. Yeah. Uh, it's quest... I need to see. It's 25 to hand. That's a lot still, man, for what's, a kill. What's uh for what's... Zerus? Zerus. For Zerus? Yeah, 25 to the hand for Zerus. For Shifter Zerus? No, yeah. that's crazy. I think it's because Quilbor and Naga are in. The game is penalizing that quest. Oh, it's 25 gold. It's 25 gold. Yeah, okay. That's way okay. easier. That makes way, yeah, way, yeah, way, Yeah, okay. I, I thought it looked like the gold thing to me. And I was oh, like, okay. I was like, damn, that's crazy. You Do you sell your one, your four, six, I guess? Yeah, okay. I like selling this now. I would have done it straight away instead of uh, wasting the attack from the tabs. But yeah. It's, it's fine, whatever. 
Okay, I like this play though. Like it pushes a bit harder. It pushes harder. You get you can get your uh, your thing. You could get it next turn if you really want it. I think I that's think sort of what you need. Yeah. yeah. I think that's definitely yeah, the idea. Se senior help know. isn't even winning on turn five as Lich, and that's uh, that's just such a. He's dead. Sentence. You you dude, I, it's game losing. You you skip turn yeah, yeah. one with see, with this hero, you're dead. Like there's nothing you could do. That's what I'm saying. Like it had to be a bug. I can't imagine you willingly taking this hero at, at lobby okay. legends and you willingly skip like not willingly, but like you're skipping your turn and not like quitting in <laughs> protest because you're dead. Like you're just <laughs> what, do you, what do you do? <laughs> and and we can see secret guys sort of taking advantage of that here with having this insanely weak board, but still leveling where there's like the two schools of thought, right? He it's knows. like the he knows he smells blood in the water. Uh, well, I mean, I think this board is weak enough to still lose to a lich. I, That's your turn. I agree. Uh, so I'm not sure if he knows or if he's just like, well, I'll take 15 anyway, so I'll level. Because there, there may have been some true. value here in like not losing, right? Nah, not really. I love how we're not we're not going to senior health sport. Like we're just, yeah, <laughs> just like, avoiding it's too it. Painful. Like... Okay, so no beast, no mech. So Murlocs are gonna be huge. He has game. a red whelp triple if he takes the whelp, right? Yeah, I didn't quite see. Uh we got a sapphire and a gun. We, are Man, we getting gun a four? Or... No, right? We're locking getting a five minimum. I don't think we're getting a four here. I'm not happy with a four. Okay, good. good. Yeah, I mean, theoretically, it's a six for Felbat, but you're not going to be able to make that, oh, right. I guess. No, no, get a six. No, I'm down for that. He does have gun. Yeah, with gun says to heal him, right? Then we can... So I think he wants to play it by ear, right? He's like, okay, well, if I take zero here, then maybe I'll just go if for I a six. If I take 14 Felbat. here, then maybe not. Then know? I probably not. Yeah, <laughs> but he does have gun with the selfless. So yeah, this, yeah. this one is zero. This one is zero. Yeah, I, th I think you. I think you can go for a six with the gun. Well, the right? upside is the, so This bad, is but... why I like the Natris, right? First, your first, your first uh, quest reward is for tempo. Then your second one, you can you know grab a teal tiger and go for a <laughs> felbat. Exactly. Oh, he won. Senior held one. Yeah, I mean. But wow. but the secret guy's board was super weak. I know it was, about. but I'm still shocked he won. Yeah, he's he's feeling the bat. Yeah, he's feeling, he's the feeling it because he can you can get Eliza too. He's also against senior health, right? And he does have the gun, so good. Uh, this is so dumb. Like we have a ghost in lobby legends, right? Essentially, it's so dumb. <laughs> this never happens. Like, yeah, but yeah. yeah, like in in such an insanely prestigious tournament to have a ghost, technically because. Uh, well, we'll see how we'll see what senior health can do, right? Like maybe he can make a board that can beat this, but smoking gun with I'm pretty sure he can make a board that can beat it. You're pretty sure that he can or can't? That he can. It, it depends a bit. Uh, what was his quest, even? I don't know. It doesn't <laughs> matter, Shady. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I hear you. Right, so we have a Daryl with Zerus. That's a cool you, synergy. You saw one more, one more card. Okay, good. Nice. For sure. Yeah, I think these people have played enough Daryl in their lives. Well, well, I, well yeah, I'm just making sure, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the last second triple. Why going are we getting a five? five here. Yeah. Probably because we have Peggy and we're too happy with the uh, what it does. Yeah, this is like Why the, is I guess the we didn't two one that. at the end. I don't understand. But, okay, good. Yeah, just repositioning. So I think he went for the five because his quest isn't complete yet and he had Peggy Ball of Minions. And if you go for the five there, that's such a massive uh, boost to your board. What is so this it's probably voice? feeling a little Death bit scared. Or like dying? No, it's no, attacking. Attack, no attack. Oh, tiny for Tiny, right. We, we saw that, yeah. yeah. We yeah remember, like, guy. you took the selfless and then... It took a while, man. Fifteen attacks. That took a while. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't know. Like, I tiny tiny hedge was the one I was not taking. Uh senior, senior dead. So I couldn't beat the gun. That's so unlucky for. Him. I mean, I do think it didn't really matter because he was always dead, but it does change how the rest of the lobby plays. I agree completely. It's 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 an insane boost for Oleg. If he fights a normal Lich Wait, on that level. turn... Oh, no, he has level. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, it's telling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, if 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 Senior Hill got to play this game normally, this whole landscape would be different. Does the Nathrios can't do this play on twenty nine health? No. There's no way. It's, no, but then even like the everyone else would be would be lower as well. Solid level. Come on. I want to see your six drop. Is it Eliza? Eliza or, also really good. Yeah. Is it Eliza yeah. or is it uh, Belbat? Either, either. Honestly, in in this lobby, given how people will want to play Murlocs, I don't even hate going the Eliza route instead of Belbat. I I I think Eliza is amazing. You, do you remember? Yeah, no. Do you remember you were the Eliza guy? No. Okay. Okay. But we have Teal Tiger. I know. I know. Okay. I, I mean, I'm just pointing out. Felbat is pretty okay if you boost your shop to like plus ten, plus ten every turn. Uh, yeah. But no, of, of course, Eliza is insane. No, 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 so, no, but I feel like I have become the Eliza guy. <laughs> more than you. I, I played Skelly this morning. No, no, I mean, but sure. yeah, maybe it's uh, the uh, the the difference was a lot bigger before, where I was just snapping Eliza every time, and now you probably play more Eliza than yeah, I do. Yeah, I probably play more Eliza than you do. It's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Which is funny. Yeah, I, I like the um, I like the Eliza angle more than the Felbat here. I think, just, just given how it's, strong it's, Lobby 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 Lobby. it's so much better tempo in the early game. I, respect uh, I think I think the Felbat is actually more tempo for a couple of turns for sure because you're getting such ridiculous value. Uh... Not this turn, right? But like starting next turn. I don't know. I don't know. Dude, I guess he has zero demons stupid. on the board. Yeah. Yeah, if he had one or two demons, I'd say Felbot's better tempo. That may be. Okay. Oh, he gets the buff at all. Crazy. Yeah, but he needs he needs a big win, and the Zeros hasn't carried him yet. So. <laughs> you taking but the three one? You take it good. Yeah. Because of how the lobby works, he could still technically get there if he just gets full scan. Yeah, so. tad, let's go. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh. He, just, he needs to get oh, those tox spins. Oh. Yeah. Hey, don't don't buff yourselves, guys. That's plus four plus four, the three three there. Oh, you're skipping it, okay. <coughs> yeah, the attack animations are going pretty Slowly, so I'm not sure if that's got to do with one of the observers or not, or if that's just the game. So here we got that uh, questionable Blackthorn pick, at least by our he's by a, our. He's at you know. 45. Yeah, 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 he's doing really well. Got his alter ego completed, and now is gonna try to triple into. Uh, I guess I mean Adina's not even. It's it's still the best card. It, but... It's I, I think it's <laughs> more. Um, he picked up <laughs> armor hero. You know what I mean. Yeah, I think, I think that was a probably his up. game plan, right? Because you skipped what uh, <laughs> scabs, which I think you know you can you can go eighth with Scabs. Scabs, scabs and Millhouse. Yeah, you, Millhouse no at least, so I can see that as well. So I think it's I, hard to go eighth with Scabs. Uh, uh, I don't think it's hard to go eighth with Scabs. Honestly. I think if you're playing it in a way where it's first or eighth, it's easy to go eighth, but you can just play normal on Scabs, right? You but, don't have but to go. But isn't eighth. it easier to to not go eighth on this hero? You you have more armor and you you can just play your quests. But scabs the way how scabs works, it's kind of like he has armor for the quest because so many of the quests require you to add cards to your hand, play cards of a certain minion, play but play battle still cries. Takes and... Forever, that's maybe the no issue. no it doesn't. That's that's my point. I'm saying that scabs as a zero armor hero completes quests uh, sometimes way faster than other people. I haven't had that experience. Personally. It's 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 my standard experience, but it's because okay on the quest turn when I play scabs I get like three or four minions in my hand. Yeah, like that's my standard. Okay, well that's not normal. <laughs> it's it is normal because you can play tier one curve due to your hero power. I'm saying that's not what everyone's doing by normal, but I, I've, okay, I but I mean, saying, like matter, you're right? playing I'm it in your own, there, right? in your own uh... golden hammer on the hog here, by the way. So we have uh. We have Kurt playing AP and Pirates on Cthulhu twice, <laughs> which is Coping pretty up. funny. He's, he's in the same spot again, right? Where the board is, it's so nice if he wasn't on four health. <laughs> like he has the he has a chance to just run away with the game. But or die. He needs to stay alive here. I don't and know he's if running he a lives. brand. I don't know if he loses. Yeah, 
the, that board looks like it doesn't survive. Yeah, it looks like it dies. He has to sell his brand, I think, and then ugh, like you're not he even really getting into the top placement. four, right? He needed three top fours to make it. Yeah, I, um, there was someone. That might have been Kurt. Yeah, it was like yeah, he 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 he's been fourth four, yeah. the first two games. So he needed, he needed fourth or better. So yeah. so this might which be you know Cthulhu seems like a good pick for that, but probably just couldn't get there. I didn't even see what his quest was. What he was doing with that. Mm. So secret guy with a nice block up, I presume, because the hero power hasn't been used yet. Yeah. And there's a secret, so. But he's at six HP, so. Feeling a little bit safer. Nice splitting but, image. Yeah. Yeah. So secret guy is in a good position to take it. I would say where, um, that's kind of like Sneed in a way, where the hero power really wins that poison stalemate at the end, oh, or you can so make bad. an extra minion. Yeah, getting another brand is not it. So if Secret Guy can survive also. another two turns or so, I'm pretty then sure he loses his. Um, he loses his block here, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Twelve HP, just not gonna yeah, cut it. If he if he didn't copy the. Um, if he didn't copy Brand, he's fine. Yeah, he actually. Something to be said for putting Brand first, I guess. Yeah, but he put the five five first, which is like with no poison. It's basically the same as putting Brand. Which first. is same, yeah. So Kurt did not make it, yeah. Oliak killed him. Oliak smiling to kill Kurt. I'm not dude. Well it's uh double Eliza and then the Baron got buffed because we're playing Teal. So we go to six here. Wow. Hey, I'm a big fan. Hey, I'm an Oliak fan now. Oh, he has what the <laughs> Yeah, he, <laughs> he's you. He's actually just you. He's like, let me just get another one of these. Let me just get another one. I'll do that. <laughs> I'll lose at some point, right? Yeah, I'll lose at some point. Oh, man. Yeah, sell, sell, sell. Sell, sell, buy. Get the triple, get your six, and then you sell, you play your Tawny, and you're happy. I think that's actually so clean. Uh, you don't buy the money this turn because you didn't lose. You just get the Tony, right? Oh, we didn't lose. You're right. Heck, wait. We, we killed Kurt. We killed Kurt. Oh, yeah, yeah. you're right. Wait, that's kind of an issue. We're never losing anymore. We're <laughs> winning from the rest of the game. Oh no! Yeah, getting We're first place. We have to lock this for like well. five turns. Who's a very nice drunk dude? It's 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 three a.m. for me, by the way. So, please excuse my behavior. Okay, so? You're not you're not acting different than from you usually are, but it's. <laughs> People I guess are so out of touch with someone who's kind of just having fun. That was like, it must be a uh, must be on drugs or something. <laughs> what are they're not and they're not acting miserable? What is this? This is this is ridiculous. Why are they having a good time? Explain yourself. All right. So yeah, we got we got Trickster on that kill where he really needed that quest to high roll, and we did take Zerus, and there was a chance for Zerus to high roll, but we just didn't get anything that was too fancy. So, uh, with the shield on the Eliza, there's even a chance we die. Nah, we're too big. Nah, the, we can uh, actually win. Yeah, we tie. Yeah, we tie. We tie. But the uh, the issue is that he needs he needs a win, so he needs a full poison board. But then that yeah. Scally and Zodiac kind of counters that poison. So, oh yeah, that, that the was... secret guy didn't lose the block and then just died to turn yeah. after. That's so this why we're not playing. This why I wasn't playing that hero right there. That's that's been my experience as a high level lobbyist when you play secret guy. Well, I mean, he still has armor, so I, yeah. I would say it's, it's better than before. Yeah, it's. it's we, nice. we also saw stats, right? We saw stats where he was doing like what top five, top six, on the top five percent on ladder. Yeah, so. yeah, he was. Not awful. I don't think it's awful no. Yeah, this yeah, blessing he has is to roll through past it. No, yeah, he's. I'm tearing I love it. Yeah. Yeah, these animations are so slow, by the way. I don't know if that's actually what Oliak is experiencing. Like, that roll is going so slow. Oliak's in a great spot. This is why, this is why I'm a big Eliza fan. Look how good it is. Uh, yeah, I, I love it. He's chilling. He's considering uh, that queen, I guess. I mean, he has this random 25-25. At some point, he can switch it up. A bit. But right now, yeah, he doesn't need to. He just wants to make this uh, Tony more likely, but it's it's hard to do here. Hear me out, hear me out. There's a hogger in the shop. 
I know. I'm looking at it. No, uh, no. Please. The amount of money he needs to burn get, here is get, get criminal. Get me out of here. Don't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Really I think if it's earlier on, I, I do like it. Nah, I'm really. I'm a, I'm a I'm a big fan of Golden Hogger with the Eliza build because you just have more money to roll for your Baron and then you just sell the Hogger later. Sure. Ah, disgusting. <laughs> So oh, this, this feels like a blessing. Is this a yeah, joke? It's always the Exodia. Joke. Well, he doesn't have taunt, though, right? He doesn't it doesn't have taunt, matter. So. It doesn't matter, dude. I'm Eliza always wins. It's not even close. Kekoi. I mean, if, if his uh, okay. if his Eliza Baron always wins. Eliza, it's not even close. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, now of course, but with no taunt. It, but he has two Elizas, so it, even if even if they even if one dies, like the other one would just carry him anyway. Like the Baron, basically, right? You kill the Baron, and then the Selfless doesn't do four shields, and you do have a seventy-five, seventy-five Divine Shield Terragosa. Look at this, right? I think if that Baron gets snapped, that's not always uh, not always a win. Fine, because you get two, you get two fewer shields, and you get a fewer. All right, there was like a sixteen percent to lose. Fine, whatever. Or tie, yeah. right? Yeah. Or tie. Now, obviously, Agodia is massively favored there. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, I, their their Baron's blessing picks have not been like interesting so far. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's because there are no good fights, but it's pro. Like I feel like Sato ones were good last time, or at least there were a few good ones. Whereas yeah, like I mean, it, maybe it's just like they it's aren't that good at gauging it. power strength. Like I think that is a skill you have to develop. So. But maybe it's also for the general audience where maybe Exodia Pirates is a bit hard to call. So I figured on, let's I, get to grab it. I don't know if that's you. I don't, I don't know. It's, you're always telling me that I respect my opponents too much and stuff. And now you're like, nah, the audience knows, man. They know exactly what Skelly Cup can do. Like, <laughs> a bit of a double standard, right, Collins? I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely full of those. So I don't, don't expect anything different. Uh, I guess you shield your, your Peggy. Oh, he's selling. Yeah, I showed you. I guess, yeah, he's playing to live, which I guess I respect. Yeah, Shouldn't sure. you put your, um, you should put your 60 first, right? I don't like this positioning here. I really don't like that the Leroy can get shielded, yeah, so I think we either throw away the Amber Guardian. It, it, it's or... bad in two ways. The, the Leroy can get shielded, and then you can't reshield your uh, your biggest yeah. minion, like so, I would definitely move that up or change that for sure. Like, I hope he doesn't get screwed from it, but, but like, yeah, like, imagine you put your sixty-two sixty first, right, and then it kills something. Then you get it. You can have the chance to get it shielded right back. Yeah, now it doesn't die like that. Fortunately, he's big enough, so it, it's not gonna matter. But he, he could. Yeah, we still. The uh yeah sorry go ahead he Finish could have died it, here it could have it's it's just worse because yeah. more bad stuff can happen yeah, yeah. it's just worse. shield on Leroy shield on the three two no reshield on the big boy so the uh, the the interesting dynamic here is that it is a lobby where poison scam is super super strong but we have the Nathrius really punishing people if they want to do that due to the Scally Cobb countering poison scam so hard. Uh -huh. So it's uh, it's probably going to come down to white main shit, I think, in the late game, where the Nathrius is super favored, unless somebody white mains him in a good spot, and we see that uh, Galewing is already running it. So uh, we might even see that playing down a minion to like taunt both the Baron and the Cadgar, but then again, you always go second. He's doing so... what Kurt couldn't. Yeah, he's got full input in now. Yep. Oh yeah, my not, lord, not that is infuriating. Input. For for yeah, you see the clap, right? For that to happen in Lobby Legends, that is disgusting. What what do you mean? This is my always my experience. This is why I don't play. You ran out of right pirates here. Man. right here. Jeez. This always happens to me, guys. You think it's good, but it's not. You guys playing your stupid Merlock or not Merlock, but you know whatever it's called, random yeah. pirate comp. You run out of gold because you don't get any any pirates. I, so to, we're uh, to be fair, not memeing. Like not memeing, I this does have to be, but I do think like it, it's worth it to play double hogger. Like you know what I mean, but, it's extremely rare. I would say that you run out of uh things to do before you run out of time. Once you have golden hogger, regular hogger, 
I think yeah. two regular hoggers, fine. One golden hogger, fine. That's going to happen because if you want to keep going with two hoggers, that means you've rolled several muddy pirates and that's high rolling. But for you to actually just run out of things to do when you have a golden hogger and a regular hogger, that's just massively unlucky. Oh, we need to dodge that Leroy. Okay, that was a big one. Because that, that Nadina, right? There's a lot riding on this Targo, so... Oh, we block that. Ooh, we do lose. Uh, it should be okay. Yeah, there's no more poison, well, but it's not okay. there's a big shield yeah. here. We do survive for it. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> 5, 9, 12, yeah. Okay, here's the turn we want to watch. Don't move away from this guy. We want to watch this turn. Pirates. One pirate. Oh, okay, yeah, we're fine, good. We're good. Fine. That's so much money. <laughs> Vanessa <laughs> sees it. Yeah. All right, fine, Easy triple. Fine, fine, shady. Yeah, we are up against the Nathrius, so stats are good, but. Oh, wow. He skipped the, he skipped the Mantid there for the money. Doesn't do anything against the uh, pirate. If he knows it's Exodia pirate, right? He Man, just he gets know that, so. and... He's trying to triple into Zap, I guess. Maybe. Uh, Maybe he's probably looking for, for White Mane as white well. Main, yeah. Because yeah. I think if Zap was the goal, he'd be uh, leveling. There's a white so here it is. Will he take it? No. So he's not even it. looking for right. it. So it's maybe just trying to pure out stats. That's hard huh. to do. In one. So turn. maybe. He doesn't know. It's, I, yeah, it's yeah maybe he just doesn't know. It. Yeah. It feels like the white main was mandatory. There There's the other chance. I'm yeah. not grabbing it. Yeah. Oh, ball of minions is huge, though. He skipped that. Oh, well. wow. That's, that's just uh, not yeah, paying he attention. He just didn't right? see it. Yeah. He just, just, to he's yeah. just trying to go as fast as possible. That happens. Yeah. yeah. Double the Dino to him. Okay, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> I love what are we ending on? Yeah. We're, what are we I love on? it. We're just like the chat right now. <laughs> yeah. Does get massive buffs here. Manted, play Manted, maybe. Did he get did he get it in I time now? Didn't get this, yeah. yeah, I don't think I he knew he yeah. was against this. It seems like the white main grab yeah, would have been is, is pretty normal. Important, then. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's not great. We don't kill that, though, but the Eliza doesn't kill herself due to the shield. So we still get the value. I am seeing the value of white main, though, like against like some of these combo comps. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I lost my Scally game earlier today because my opponent was white main. Oh, did you? Oh. Yeah. I played around it a bit, but my positioning got so weird that I still ended up losing it. Uh, okay. Yeah, pretty uh pretty savage, but we can see the Scally comp being so good. I'm a big I'm a big proponent of Scally. I used to hate this comp by the way, guys. Like, <laughs> Shady would be playing it and I'd be like, Oh, this is so nasty. I, I what are you doing? This is not this is not okay. And now I'm the guy. <laughs> I'm like, yes, let's go. Scally, another game. Every game is Scally. Go for him. He does have that ball of minion pair. If he like, maybe that's why he's not like slam dunking, poisoning it, because he could eventually triple. What's he looking at here? The six six. No. I don't know. I don't know what he's looking at. Uh, might just be gathering his thoughts a bit. Yeah, like, what am I that's actually what I looking think. He's just gathering yeah. his thoughts. I, I don't think. I don't think it's very much like, oh, I this I, shop, right? This is the shop where I need to think. I think he's just thinking in general. Just thinking in general. It's like, all right, my opponent has Scallywag, or you know, might not have that info. Probably does. I think he, he should, fought him. Before. He should have his. The, I think he fought sure. him. Before, yeah, like yeah. you know the damage caps. Like that's that's. It's hard not to know at this point. So what are we looking at right now? He has a white mean in his hand. Yeah, he's looking to get the Scally stuck on the Toxfin. That's good. <coughs> then I guess we're white maining the, white main, right, the yeah. other position. Yeah. It'd be funny if he just like throws the Uther on the Toxfin. She's like, oh, whoops. Uh, he's thinking about it. Yeah, we do have the I, 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 oh. 
You can see the positioning, right? Yeah. Like that's Kelly there. He's, he's yeah. really thinking about what I mean. Yeah. Now, we, the problem with this is that there is a chance that your divine sh Okay, this Kelly goes off. Even if the it's divine shield goes, I think you're actually still fine. That's the yeah, thing. yeah. You, you lose one Eliza, but you're fine after yeah. that. All right, that looks like. Yeah, yeah, he won. Oh, he won for sure. Eliza? Yeah, no, I'm damage wise, right? He won, yeah. He should kill. It's always over? Okay. Just thinking with that Eliza dying, it might be like one off or something. And this is why we go Scally, guys. This is why it's good. You yeah. just murder folks. I mean, it's the best lobby to do it, I think, as well, because people are very, very inclined to play things that are weak to tokens. Good job, Elliot. Might be enough to get him alive or into the next stage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think a first was needed, and he was a, he was at four point four point five, right? So. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying that it was like at minimum he needed. A yeah, first he needed the first, so yeah, he might yeah. he might have made it in. Yeah, so that that small taunt is there to hopefully. Uh, block the Skellywax where the, the Sky Pirate attacks and doesn't die, and therefore the Cadvar stops applying. Yeah, it's it's live for sure. Someone's asking if it was live or a rerun. This, this is why I'm yeah, awake at 5 or 4 a.m. <laughs> Colin's getting up at 2 a.m. to do a rerun casting. The rerun, yeah. Oh, Hell no. no. <laughs> Commitment, baby. All right, so that's the first lobby right. wrapped up. Right. F's for senior held for sure. Bit unlucky. So no, his, his games weren't that great. Like he he could have won the second game or done well, but the like, leaper game was tragic. Yeah. yeah, the the players are too good that they're gonna counter your leaper comp. So just kind of a hard lesson to learn, I guess. Like, uh, well, I mean, statistically, it might have been the best play. Yeah. So. I know. Well, is Leaper yeah, is Leaper ever statistically the best player? I, well, I, the, the um, like you know, players can be as good as they want to be. If they don't roll the tech versus you, then they don't have it. So yeah, right. you can get. It's kind of like George, right? Like, should they blast? Uh, he Absolutely. gets in. Uh, oh, he gets in with that first. Wow! But Nox Trickster out like that. Trickster, that yeah. Oh man, that is a mixed mixed feelings for sure. Because it felt like Trickster was really trying hard as well. Like he knew he needed a good game. He picked that Kale. I was like, ah, oh, my quest isn't high rolling. But if Oleg doesn't win, he's on tiebreakers or something, right? Or if Oleg does a little bit worse, he gets in. So mm -hmm. really good effort by Trickster in the end. If Oleg got up. second, he'd also make it in, though. Because then he'd win with second place over uh, the, the the third tie from Trickster. Because sure, it's sure. it, yeah, so. Yeah. Tough, 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 tough. So yeah, look, say, 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 look at uh, Zunio being consistent, like got second every time or something <laughs> and, and and makes it in and like gets to the finals in like the first spot because he got second every time. And then the other the other people that got in are the other people that got first in the rest of the game. So that's kind of interesting, right? Like, but none of the people that got first actually has the highest points It's the most consistent second place person. Yeah, yeah. Mean, second, second, second in Love of Legends. It's amazing, yeah. It's insane, it's yeah. yeah. <clears throat> that's that's probably showcasing like a really, really good understanding of tech and how to squeeze it out at the end where you're because it's it's unlikely that I would he say had a the board. tech players are the people that won, actually, right? And isn't that more accurate? <clears throat> no, I mean it's what what I mean is that it's unlikely that you had three games in a row where you had the the strongest tools yeah, or yeah, strong you're, enough you're, to, to it, trade up. It's up a showcase through. of consistency, despite. Yeah. Like, so what, what, what I mean is, you you use tech to sort of patch the difference between you and the other players. That you know, like maybe there was like a cookbook player who was doing, you know, who had more tools see, than I, you. I think it's. A, I would look at it a little bit different. Like I would say, you use consistency or stability or whatever, and you use tech to get from second to first. You see, I'm saying like the tech is like, oh, let me. Well, we can we can look at it, but I'm sure that he played. So what I mean with tech is like, oh, I'm fighting this player, I'm gonna fit in the Y main. I'm fighting this player, I'm gonna get the blaster. I'm fighting this but player. But isn't I'm isn't that the, what makes you the first place player? Not the no, no, no. What I what I mean is it prevents you from losing versus stronger players. So like a good example is for instance, but senior isn't that health, more consistency and less tech? You're saying that the no. tech is to no. What I'm what I'm saying is that they are consistent in their uh -huh. results because they buy the right tech 
versus the right player to win a round, which you normally would lose without that tech. Because I think it's unlikely that three games in a row, you get second place purely based off the strength of your board every time, if that makes sense. So it's not like three times in a row, I got offered you know, a setup where I got like a dark gaze and I was just really strong, or I got this and I was really strong. So what, what you call consistency, I we just have a different definition of it. Like, I think they're consistent in their result because they're willing to... So you think their consistency is based on teching around different players? Yeah, yeah. So based on the opponent they were offered, I mean, we can look at it, right? So let's... So which which player was it that got second? Zinyu. Zinyu. So yeah. let me go and... and I, I wouldn't necessarily say that they're, they're maybe, teching maybe around different players. Maybe I'm wrong, but we can... We can I'm, Sure, we have ten no, minutes. No, we can definitely yeah. go through it. We have ten minutes. That's that's. There will so be an ad segment at some point, but I can do ads more towards the end. So an ad segment? Do you do this? I guess you do, huh? I play ads. I do. I do enjoy making a living. Calls. That's uh. Sure. <laughs> you play your ads. All right. I'm just gonna grab a different player. Uh. So let's see. Wait, where's play Hearthstone? So was it say say say? Or who got second all the time? Well, Zunyu got third then, right? In the last lobby. No, but he got he got first place overall. I thought that's who we're talking about, right? Right. Sorry, I thought I thought you said second, second, second. That was his results, but I must have misunderstood. Well, it was like almost almost second every time. Right. So second, second, third, then. I yeah, guess. second, second, third. I mean, yeah, it's basically second. I mean, that's basically second, second, second. Or third, yeah, third, third. It, it, he actually got third, 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 actually, that I look at it. Our number's all just the same. <laughs> he got when third, third, really third, which is it. still great. Like, it's 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 maybe a little worse than I was saying, but yeah. But third, 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 essentially. It, isn't that, isn't, you could say third, third, third is more consistency and less tech, right? Or no? Is this, I, is, I think is that we, I think... I I'm, I might just not be agreeing with that it's either or, where you're either consistent or you. I mean, you can be both. Here. Yeah, you can be both for sure. Yeah, I mean, it just feels very weird that that's sort of the. So, are you a consistent player or are you a dirty like tecker? <laughs> right, like I, I just don't really agree with that premise, but that's that's what we're looking at. Oh, uh, but it, it felt like you're saying they're mainly using tech to get into their their position. Well, I think that is part of being a consistent player is that you understand when you need to fit in which tech cards to not lose to someone who had a superior high roll. That's my but point. He was my... he, but he was losing <laughs> the people who were fitting in the tech cards. That's the problem. Which games? I guess we'd have to go back, right? Yeah, I'm looking right now, and so we have the Jandis game, where. No, 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 look, look, look. That's exactly what I mean. In the Janus game. I'm not looking at your screen, so I don't know. What, okay, so what, where, but you, where you, is it? you will remember, you will remember. I will just say one thing, Void Lord, which is exactly what makes my point. Sure. He what, played that Void Lord. Stamp? No, but you remember I, I, this. Of course I remember, I know. <laughs> okay, it's, it's one hour, seven minutes, right? But he played a Void Lord where every other card would have said, you lose here. Like, that's what I mean, where he understands when he needs to play a specific tech card to not die to someone who has a superior board. So the Wisdom Ball player had the superior board. Now, I don't think his result improved because of that, but it's a good... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, uh, we're not going to be results oriented. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, right? Sure, I mean, sure. but it, it illustrates my point where the uh, the Void Lord there was brilliant. It was, it was the tech card that he really needed, and I think that ups the consistency where if he does that over a spree of like 10 games or 15 games or whatever, that absolutely boosts his score. Yeah, for That sure. makes him more consistent where he understands, like, okay, I got to fit this tech card right now because my opponent had a better game than I did. They had Wisdom Ball, and they have extra Divine Shields. So my opponent gets two Divine Shields for free, and somehow I need to get around that. And in this case, the somehow was, I'm going to get a Void Lord, and I'm going to deny my opponent their selfless hero, mm -hmm. and that's going to win me that round. Yeah, I agree. This is why we should be analysts, by the way. For the <laughs> for, this would be fun for Love and Edges, so we actually get to do this. Uh, but it, yeah. So I don't think he, yeah, he doesn't improve his ultimate placements just because Kurt was even better in that teching uh, department. Uh, so yeah. 
But we're talking Zunyu, right? Or yeah, we're talking Zunyu. Okay, so that that's the that's the first instance. Now see if there's anything more. Now that could be that it's just sort of more a gut feeling thing, right? Where I feel like that's how it works. So no, skip a bit more towards the later stages. Uh, so what's he playing? Cookie here? Playing cookie. Yeah. So I think here he's also the player that goes for like the white main and then plays down the unit to try and white main two things, but we'll see. Yes, he is. That is him. It didn't work out, but like the idea is correct, right? Like, yeah, right, right. Yeah. He's trying to like you have a superior <laughs> board, but I'm gonna try to mess with you. Because yeah. I think if you look at this, like consistency wise, what's he doing? He's running a white main. He's running a reborn coiler, and just has this like well, perfect. Well, his, his main ball. carry is the is the battle map. The BM, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But this, I mean, look at his board as well. He's running a blaster in his main comp. That's pure tech. Yeah, he's a tech guy. All right. I, I could see that point for sure. All right. Because <laughs> if you look at it, two, uh, like one third of his board is tech, right? Because he's got a white main and he's got blaster. And then you could argue that Coiler is also like techy, but you know, I'm not going to like push for that. Coiler is tech, I think. If, if you're not running a beast comp, it's also tech as well. Yeah. I just survive here. We'll see what well, else. He, he used white main until he died, so he was just trying to take yeah. it up. He does end up taking third here as well, I think. Yeah, yeah, he got third every it's... game. Basically. Yeah, okay, cool. But anyways, that, that's my point. My point was that I, I think that you become more consistent in your results. You could even say that you... the, the black thorn is tech. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just take the black yeah, door sure. and try to get a high roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take my three minutes. Long. All right, sounds good. I'm gonna rest my voice, so I'm gonna be quiet. Yeah, that's good. See you guys in a sec. This is the last turn for him, he just kind of ran out of time. There. Yeah. yeah just ran out of time. That one, that one you can... It's kind of hard to do with double... Double hog ready. So who are the people that made it into the finals? Let's see. Zunyu, Say Say Say, Poon King. We didn't talk about him too much. But he did win the first the first game and then had a couple like safe performances, like fifth place I would say. And then Oliak with the the final first with the Scally comp to get there. Um, bit unfortunate for Trickster and Kurt. Uh, they both, they were, they were both pretty close. Kurt had like fourth place consistency, but faltered at the final stretch, right? If he had fourth, 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 he would make it in. So just a bit unfortunate, you know, like the one final, you know, safe game. And Trickster had had a good final game, but his first game was pretty poor, going uh seventh eight tie, and that kind of held him back there. So, a bit problematic, I would say. <coughs> Definitely, Senior held having that AFK uh, first turn kind of gave a couple people some some safe windows. I think Oliak and they yeah, say, say the winner of the winner of the lobby got a pass for a turn. Yeah. I think also say. second place had a pass as well. 
Um, those were the two that I got the biggest advantage from them. <coughs> not being strong, so <coughs> definitely a rough, a rough one for senior health there. But you definitely have games, or not games, but like tournaments like that where uh, you know you you get put behind your first two, and it's hard to mentally recover just because like you know, oh, I need to even if I get first here, I still lose, right? So. It it's just it's just rough. Uh, like theoretically, theoretically he could make it with a first if Oliak and Trickster perform and Kurt and yeah, like a lot of people have to perform poorly, but it is it is theoretically possible, just very unlikely. So it's hard to say. Oh, I should still like go full strength even though even if i get first i don't make it anywhere so can't really blame him for the final games yeah. it's just the first two and and even that second game that he had isn't like it isn't a bad idea well maybe it is like maybe it's a bad idea maybe it it isn't a bad concept but it's a bad idea in these lobbies where people will just like immediately counter a leaper board like there's just there's too many ways to deal with it, right? You can you can white main into cleave, white main and just hit it normally. You can try zapping early. You can go double blaster, or you can um, you know, you can just like lose the flips, right? If if your Baron gets sniped randomly and you don't get your your um your rat, it's it's uh, I, I think it really depends on what he, what he was offered, right? I think it's it's sometimes you just get it. Right, like he had a golden baron fairly early on. For yeah, instance. but I mean, he was definitely forcing it for sure. Um, you know, you can go, sure. you can go like fifty games and never play leaper. You know, so it's not sure. like you That's... have to play the leaper. Like, oh, they gave me nothing but leaper. Uh, but it does. It it's it's normally a good idea, but with the white main addition, there's just like too many easy it might be just too much yeah. yeah so maybe it's like cali where it's yeah. like a, but you work. don't know that unless like someone does it to you right like that's like the benefit of having good opponents um right if you're playing standard or you're just playing with your your buddies right they they don't they don't know to punish you that hard like he was at 30 something or 27 eight or something he died in one one hit one loss right because if your leaper, if your if your baron dies when you're playing leaper comp, you take a bajillion damage. It's not like if some you're other probably all the stars, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Some other comps when you lose or you get punished, you don't, you don't, you don't like take thirty. But with leaper comp, you, your scaling is fully reliant on your baron. So if your baron dies early, you you have no other stats, so everything just lives and you take so much damage. So the the punishment is too high to really rely on that composition i think these days but it is it, it was a fun comp and it used to be there was a period in time where it was just like the best comp i think like the beginning of quest meta with paracel and stolen gold everywhere yeah. it was just well, the best too energy. but now there's counters i guess yeah the, the addition of white main might that might be critical mass where there's just too many things that can happen Sorry, we're waiting for the game to start. <laughs> oh, am I? I'm, I'm still like looking at the old brief play, but I guess. Oh, okay. Now they're just going over the fantasy thing where they have their three players they picked that they think are going to do well. Yeah. Analyze the cat petting, please. Sadie, did he analyze it? Uh, a bit like Cluster, to be honest. Maybe not fully as hard as it did. You're, it's almost like he was distracted by doing his job. Or... That's unfortunate. How's it going? You all are outstanding. Wow. Day two K. By you all, are you talking about us? Or are you talking about chat? You know, because one one is the right answer. <laughs> chat, of course. Chat, of course. <laughs> Have they talked about who's in the second lobby? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, well, the list was up earlier, and they, they made their picks of who they like. Saw Kit, Pompata, Sliders, but I don't remember all the names. I'm definitely saving uh, my uh, <clears throat> voice and stuff a bit because I'm feeling uh, it might be a rough second half for me. <laughs> What's up? Uh, I'm listening to the casters. Oh, right, they're funny. riffing. I like it. If it's any con consolation for you at 6 a.m., you have to stay up for hours for a TF tournament where you have to play six games. What could possibly go wrong? Good luck in your TFT tournament. Hope it uh, hope it goes well. Uh, you know, I definitely keep up with TFT. I haven't played it this expansion but you know it, it looks fun so hopefully it, it it's fun for you as well yeah good luck Solorian. so i can tell you from experience that they're scrambling to set up the lobbies that's what's going yeah. on right now they're just <laughs> they're something's scrambling. going on and they're buying time yeah right they're there. buying time they don't know like because it's so easy for there to be delays when you're setting up lobbies because, like, the Blizzard client isn't that great for tournament setup. Um, people crash. Like, even if you just... If, even if you set up the lobby and you don't start it quick enough, it will cancel itself. I don't know what the, the time limit on it is, but it just, like... If you're waiting... Like, like if you want to pre-set up a lobby... You can't actually do that because if you wait, it'll just cancel itself. So there's a lot of issues that can just cause delays if you're trying to like get a get a new lobby set up. Like people might not get into the the lobbies, or you have to like add them five times and 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 whatnot. So it probably should have already started the games, but they're just struggling to get people in. Something's happening, yeah. Well, thanks for waiting, guys. <laughs> no, it's not ideal. Well, I guess on the mainstream, there. Anything, anything you want to talk about? You know, any any interesting thoughts from the first, uh, the first games, first uh, games. I I just want to emphasize again that going with what you're offered and doing it well is better than forcing the hypothetical best comp in the lobby. I think so. we saw that. With <laughs> Play, play what Bob thing. gives you. Don't force Murlocs. Let me translate for the. Yeah, uh, exactly. The uh, I think the Quill War angle, right? Like where you weren't like seriously considering the Murkai, but it's no, definitely something. But, it, that... it, but I was think I would think about it at least. For yeah, time. exactly. Right, and that like that's like no, just do the thing that's strong. So I think another thing is like, for instance, a quest like Alter Ego. I think it's very easy to look at Alter Ego and be like, ah, oh, it doesn't really do it doesn't anything. Do it doesn't even gain. I'm not gonna take it. But like, if you can complete it easily, and then you buy couple of minions that are buffed and you're strong and then suddenly you can be a bit greedier you can roll for your good pairs and then you're on tier four you hit a yep. good pair you freeze you level oh six drop boom oh, maybe a buster maybe you know whatever you can play in a, an eliza buster or even the dark gaze if you're not too late to scale then suddenly you're a complete you're playing a completely different game mm -hmm. as opposed to no i will force this thing that is hypothetically better but i have no way of getting there right now but i have to play right it's like yeah. Like a cookbook, right? That you're not going to complete in time. Well, you know, cookbook is the exception. Or... You know, yeah, yeah. yeah, but like, not let's really. say a cookbook. I know, I know. Like, like, spend 50 gold for cookbook. That's That kind of stuff isn't very good. Cause... Yeah, like knowing that you start cooking on turn nine mm -hmm. at the earliest, for instance, like that's just a death sentence. Yeah. I think 
the insane cookbook games is you start on turn six, but those are super high rolls. I think turn seven is great. Uh, turn eight is still possible. It's still, yeah, I think, acceptable, yeah. Yeah, but if you start cooking on turn nine or later, yeah, especially like the end of turn nine, you activate like that's not that's not going to no, work. Yeah, 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 for sure. So, yeah, that, it's I, I think there's just great value in doing whatever you're best equipped to do at that moment. And it sounds so normal, so logical, but still, there's a lot of people that will push for the hypothetical better build, and they'll they'll take a lot more top sevens and top eights because they didn't get to complete their quests or they completed it far too late or in terms of pivoting into a particular comp or holding out for particular cards, they just end up losing too many fights because they're not strong. Yeah. Yeah, very There's true. A lot of stuff very well said, Shady. Uh, yeah. Look at us scrambling for time. That's great. <laughs>